So Hades, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best to get my head in the zone, in the zone. Like busy work day means that I haven't really had a proper transition from that to here. So bear with me. Also, my brain wasn't working properly <laughs> during Tuesday's stream. So I was having a really hard time with words, which is very frustrating. When you say as many words as I do, you get very frustrated when your words aren't working right. Oh my God, I forgot to upload Tuesday night's stream. I'm sorry, folks. I am, I'm upping my ADHD meds starting tomorrow or the day after. Um, we'll see if that helps. Otherwise, I'm not really sure, but I'm going to do my best. Um, so bear with me a little bit. Um, we'll see if actually that makes a difference. So there's a hypothesis that someone put forth that possibly part of the reason why I was getting better at this game um, is because the ADHD meds perhaps were making it easier for my brain not to be so overwhelmed and shut down. Um, in which case we'll see how I perform if my brain is struggling. But if my brain is struggling right now, it's kind of been struggling for a little while. I'm not sure. Um, thank you, Blue Glass. I'm glad you enjoyed it despite brain function issues. Um, yeah, we played some Horizon Zero Dawn. It was fun. Um, I just, I need to find another game that begins with an H so we can have Horizon Zero Dawn, Hades, and Psychonauts. It does have an H. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it does. It does. It does. It does. It's just a few letters in. I don't know if that counts. <laughs> Heiko knots. Heiko knots. All right. You heard it here first, folks. Heiko knots too. <laughs> Going to Chrono and Noel Girl. Um, the Hades zone is not allowed within 50 blocks of a residential zone. Maybe so. Maybe so. Man, I really like SimCity. I played a lot. The original. And the Super Nintendo version I played some of. All right, so first of all, I have to give this game credit. It doesn't matter what my brain is doing or not doing. When I sit down to play Hades, I remember the run button. So exciting. Oh my gosh, so I just want everyone to know that like I keep talking to friends about Hades and having like whole conversations about Hades is very exciting because like, it's kind of like Dark Souls in that like everybody has like this really nuanced, strongly remembered experience with the game. So instead of being like just, I, oh, I remember like this like big plot scene. Oh, I just remember this big like emotional scene. Instead, it's like people are like talking about the, the interest, intricacies of, of particular battles and particular battles with particular weapons and stuff. Um, it's really impressive how this game like takes up space in your brain and stays there um, and you feel like you have like this like such an intense experience playing it not like necessarily like emotionally intense but like the 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 act of playing it is a very active act um so like I was talking so even like if, I'm, if you're talking about the story side of things because I was talking about the story side of things with um with a, a friend of mine who happens to be an ex-girlfriend but we're still friends um but uh uh, she and I were catching up and talking about video games and talking about Hades and our thoughts about characters. She also doesn't like Meg. That makes two of us in the world who don't like Meg <laughs> for the same reason. So we were both like, oh, finally someone else out there doesn't like Meg because everybody else loves her. Um, but uh, but it was fun to talk about. It. And like my roommate and I have been talking about Hades too. And she's like, she like starts saying something and then be like, no, I won't spoil it. This is which is really fun. Um, so, so that's been really enjoyable, like, like having fun conversations with friends about, uh, about, yeah, well, that's, that's the thing that we came up with, Chrono, is, like, people want Meg to step on them, but, but other than finding Meg appealing in the way that one finds a woman that one wants to step on one appealing, like, I, I don't have, I, I don't, I don't fully see it. But I also haven't beaten the game or seen the entire story, so it remains to be seen whether something else would change my opinion of her. But in the meantime, based on where I am in the story, I don't like her. She's interesting. Okay, 
Interesting, yes. And that's a thing that we talked about, actually, is that she's an interesting character. She's got interesting conflicts. Um, to me, she very much reads as the person who is kind of taking out her own bad situation on Zagreus. They're both victims of Hades. If we consider the situation in the House of Hades to be like an abusive household, which it, especially with regard to Zagreus feels like it, but like it does for everybody because they're, they're kind of employees, kind of family. Like it's a little bit more than just like they work for him. Um, and so like when Zagreus doesn't do what Hades wants, Hades punishes the rest of the family, which is a common tactic abusers use. Um, and so Meg is like, if you would just be good, the rest of us won't have to pay the price for what you're doing, which like, I mean, it is good to be mindful of the consequences that your actions will have for someone else. But at the same time, what um, what Zagreus is trying to do is get himself out of an abusive situation. And as terrible as it is, like, he doesn't have, as I see it, the responsibility to sacrifice himself for everyone else. If he were to leave and try to find a way to facilitate everyone else leaving, which can't actually work in the House of Hades, that's not how it works. But if we were to look at this as the sort of relationship and scenario that it makes me think of, um, Zagreus could be like, I feel like I need to take care of my people, so I'm going to get out and try to find a way to get them out. And that would be great. Um, but, uh, like, I don't know. So I don't think it's fair for her to take it out on him. Uh, but I find her to be very interesting because that's a very human reaction. Um, and like I said, there may be more behind the scenes. Like, I... There must be something likable about her because she's friends with Dusa and she has apparently the kindness and patience to befriend Dusa, which is not easy to do, um, which gives her points. Um, and then clearly she and Nyx are up to something. Nyx is clearly up to something and Meg is in on it, so I don't know. Um, but uh, but she's an interesting character. She's just, I don't like her, you know? Like I'm like, oh, she's a neat, she's a neat addition to the game. She's a neat addition to the cast of characters. I find her very interesting. I don't like her. And I wouldn't put her on a list of favorite characters. She, but she's also not somebody that I, like, enjoy hating either. So she's just kind of a character that is well done and not my favorite. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, but, uh, but yeah, her having a whip does seem to be the big appeal, which is not my thing. So <laughs> she's not my Hades girlfriend. Um, so... So Meg, Meg does have a rocky relationship with, with Zagreus. No, she's, the thing is that she's a bitter ex and she seems to let her bitterness about their relationship and how it went carry into how she handles everything else, which again is a very, very human thing to do. Very normal, plausible, believable, realistic thing. Also, I don't like it. I don't like her because of it, you know? Um, so she's a well done character. I'm not like, oh, she's such a bad character. Why is she in the game? I'm like, no, I'm just like, why does everyone like her so much? So yeah, um, so I've seen everybody, maybe. Oh, did I give him? I guess I must have given him another one. I gave Meg her first friendship juice uh, for the first time <laughs> very recently because I don't like her. Um, chaos is great. Um, yeah, so last time we, f I'm, I'm trying really hard, folks. I'm trying really hard to get Artemis to be my BFF. She's the one who took down Hades the one time I defeated him. So like, she is my BFF. Um, but, uh, oh, I was, I was, I was, del I'm delighted to report that my friend was like, oh yeah, my favorites are definitely like Artemis and Dionysus. So I was like, those are good choices. Also, I really like Hermes. I think he's really interesting. And she was like, what about Athena, though? Because <laughs> I was like, I love the cousins, like those three. She's like, what about Athena? I'm like, oh, I mean, I like her, too. She's just kind of more forgettable, except for Divine Dash. Um. <laughs> yeah, well, I want I want um, Achilles. I'm, so I'm trying. I'm trying to see if I can befriend someone to such a degree that they will be my companion or something because I saw when I got into the uh, into the filing cabinets I saw 
companion was an option and then it said redacted which means the game itself spoiled something story related through mechanics that i suppose i'm supposed to have encountered i don't know i don't know but now i'm like i want to make that happen and also achilles is my favorite so these are my two favorites you can probably you would never be able to guess no would never be able to guess it's not not clear at all <laughs> um yeah so there is this one undiscovered which i feel is probably persephone but it might not be and i'm kind of surprised that she didn't show up in my book because i've met her now so who knows we'll see um yeah so the most exciting thing was that we did actually go out and meet mom and uh, then died tragically and came back and then Zagreus was depressed last run. My super amazing, wonderful, beloved, talkative boy was giving one word responses. And just as with a Lauren, if somebody that talkative is giving you minimal responses and not initiating conversations, something is very wrong. If I am ever somewhere or something like if I'm like, like busy, so I'm not paying attention, that's one thing. But if you're like trying to talk to me and I'm just like, yeah, it's fine. It's nice. Good job. Like something's probably wrong because <laughs> I talk a lot. Um, and Zagreus is like me. So that's one of the best ways of telling when something is wrong with a person like us is we don't talk because even if I'm sick, I will try to talk. Even if I've lost my voice, I will try to talk. And I bet Zagreus is the same way. Just like red transistor. Literally her voice is taken away. Does that stop her from trying to talk? No. I love her so much. Thank you, Super Giant Games. Um, yeah, so one of the big exciting things also is like getting to know Asterius a bit more. Um, I love him. I want to be able to give him friendship juice, but apparently it is not allowed. Much to my dismay and also Zagreus' is because Zagreus would really like to encounter Asterius in some context that isn't him trying to murder me. Unfortunately, he has said no. And then Theseus. Um, Asterius will not hear a bad word against Theseus, and I actually think that Theseus is probably a lot more interesting and complex than he initially seems. So I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to getting to know him. Um, I, I assume I will eventually, and not just get pummeled by him. But we'll see. If nothing else, I'll get to know of him through what Asterius says. Um, yeah. So we did not successfully make it to Dad because I got. I was doing really well, and then I got destroyed by um, Elysium because I stupidly decided that I was going to do a Pact of Punishment thing. I didn't think I would even make it to Elysium, but I did. And then the like double enemies was a bad thing in Elysium. It's a bad thing. It's not good. Not recommended. Um, but let's see what's going on as we continue. Um... Um, ho, ho, uh, 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 um, no, um, guys, uh, where? Where is? I don't think he's ever not been here. I don't think there's any point I've seen so far where he wasn't here. Maybe he'll get summoned when I switch to a different weapon and he'll be like, hey, sorry, boyo, got a little caught up in something else in undead skeleton land, but I'm here now. Better hit me with that weapon, yeah, boyo. <laughs> that's, my, that's my skelly impression. I don't think that, I don't think that I've seen him not be here before. I don't like this. I don't trust Hades. I'm surprised Zagreus didn't have anything to say about it. That's the sort of thing he normally would. We'll see if he's talking about stuff here though. I'm, I'm great. My impressions are great. Ready to go or what? Okay. I was really worried. Okay. That's good. That's good. All right. Zagreus, 
You better ask Skelly where he's been. I don't care how depressed you are. Your friend was missing, and we gotta check up on him. Let's chat him more better, boy. Yo, hit me already. Zagreus was like, Lauren, I am too depressed to talk. Okay, and I understand the magnitude of what that means, Zagreus, because you and me, we are the same. <sighs> All right, well, are you ready for uh, more shielding? He also doesn't say anything about the fact that Zagreus doesn't say anything, which is not very in character for Zagreus. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Oops. Sorry, Skelly. Skelly. Oh, okay. All right. Notice though, like, Zagreus, like, would normally say more than that, but he is still, he is still a very sad boy. So that's good to know. I wonder how long it's going to last. I wonder if it's gonna last all the way to uh, the next time we see Persephone. That might take a while. Did I do my mirror stuff? Actually, hold on. Did I do the mirror last time before we shut shut down? Because there was something I didn't do that I wanted to do. Night and darkness instead of blood and darkness. See, because this is Nyx instead of Hades. Um. Mm. Mm. This is really expensive. I have a point in this, so I have one d20. Um, did I want all of these? Yes, regular death defiance is good. I think, I think I would rather have this. I think this one is better for me. Maybe the I other. Think. I think that's what I wanted to change. I think that was the one. Yeah. And this is the one that I wanted here. Uh, thank you, Super Thorio. <laughs> not not going to take that one. Um, okay. Raise your chance for Boone to be epic. Raise your chance for Boone to be legendary or duo. No, Super Thorio. I got very, very close to it. Um, but then I had to shut down. Um, I had a... I had to I had to shut down so we're gonna finish Delta Rune on Saturday um, there's like this much left and then we're gonna talk a bunch and then I guess we'll be done unless I decide to go fight gerbil um, but uh, but it should be a it should be it should be a good time um, <laughs> I will have so many feelings I'm very excited about that um, so, yes, for anyone who is joining for the first time, sorry, I feel like I, ha I normally I'd be like, hi, I'm Lauren the Flute, but I feel like we've mostly had folks who watched me before. If anybody is here for the first time, please feel free to speak up and say, hello, I'm here for the first time. And then I will be like, hello and welcome, friends, pull up a chair and join us. Um, but I've kind of fallen into my old routine of just assuming it's the same folks who've been hanging out for a while and you all know the drill. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. Um, we are going to be finishing up Deltarune this Saturday, and then the next Saturday I will be out of town for Thanksgiving. And then the Saturday after that, I guess, we'll be starting Psychonauts. So it'll be fun. <laughs> I remember you, Megaspell. I remember you. You hung out with us, and we had some really personal conversations about life, the universe, and so on when I played Deltarune. I remember you. Um, I hope you can too, Super Thorio. I'll try to get it up on YouTube faster, if that's a thing you like to do. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't put Tuesday's stream up on Thursday like I'm supposed to. I want to put a point in one of these, and I'm trying to figure out. Like, obviously this one is so much cheaper, but also I'm trying to max out my, I don't know. We're just going to do this, just because we've done it. Ready. Okay. I think everything else is good, so now we're slightly more likely to get that. All right. I don't like this. I think I'm going to turn it down. You don't lose anything. Oh, oh, 
Oh, no, but you do. Oh, if I want to farm special bounties. Look at me. I'm using gamer lingo, folks. That's right. You heard it here first. Lauren used a new gamer lingo. That's when you call, that's what you call farming. When you do a thing repeatedly to try to get something. And I could do that. With a... Hmm. This is interesting. I'm really interested in this one. So yes, yeah, so this is a way to get more. I wondered how you would get more of those things because I was like, clearly you get more of those things because it can't be just the weapons. So I was like, do you get it for like the different versions of the weapons? And then you didn't. So I was like, something else is going on and this is why. Um, no, Chrono, it's okay. I will figure out if I take the one that is the worst, then I will find out and we will watch me toast. I will, I will be toast very quickly. Hold on, let me move my computer out of the screen. Oh, sorry, folks. <laughs> All right. We're going to not do that because I want to get poor Zagreus up to mom if I can. Am I on screen? Hold on. I changed my cam, 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 camera. Hi, camera. How's that? Is that better? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? All right. So we should be hearing less of my computer trying to take off in the future because we're going to be changing away from Streamlabs OBS to regular OBS. I just did not have a chance to finish transferring over. Um, but that will actually take a lot less out of my computer. And so you won't be able to hear that sound because it won't be making that sound as much, ideally. Um, so let's go ahead and begin this escape. Let's see what happens. If we can free poor Mr. Zagreus. Hold on, I'm going to change one more thing. Okay, here we go. Let's do it, folks. I don't think so. <laughs> He's like, no, you can't talk me into doing that, Dad. Uncle Poseidon. I do think it's cute, kind of how he's getting to know, like the uh, the family. He's getting used to referring to people as his family. I like that. All right. Oh, I heard you showed that good-for-nothing fury after all. I knew you'd handle that old crow nephew. If she troubles you again, you just remind her who's in charge down there. Crone? 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 Huh. I'm gonna hold out. Because <laughs> now I know. Now I know. Don't try that one. The sea gods might knock people away. Oh. I mean, I can't very well say no. Now can I? <laughs> it's all business best avoided. Yeah, don't get involved with Poseidon. Yeah, don't cross Poseidon is generally a good idea. All right, so I love that, I love that Chaos talks to you and you've got their shield. Like, and it's the very beginning, so like, that's fine. We'll have time to get over whatever they do to me. Chaos, frankly, is one of my favorite parts of the game. Like, I find them really interesting and appealing and different and cool and just, like, the, the way that they manage to be, like, other and unknowable but also like likable and have this connection to Zagreus that makes me like them more like all of that is really good like they're really well done and fascinating but just also also for anyone who missed it last time so Zagreus as I've said is very depressed right now as you can tell or at least he has been um because of finally finding his mother and then realizing he can't stay with her which understandably it's a depressing thing. Oh, I'll be able to tell my mom that I've been playing the game where the where the Greek god is looking for his mom, and I'll be able to say he found her. My mom will be very excited. She's been hearing about this game for a while. Um, 
but uh but so so Zagreus was a sad Zagreus and meanwhile the last time we visited chaos they just talked about fishing <laughs> they were like we think it's really interesting I think it's really interesting that you're that you're fishing in my land I look forward to that happening again <laughs> so let's see what they have to say this time hit me <laughs> oh look there's some money over here hold on I gotta get it oh I thought that was some money I guess it wasn't well, I'm just going to smash all the pottery. There's no fishing. Alas, I was hoping I'd be able to fish for them. Yeah, I just, I really like Chaos. I mean, I use the Chaos Shield a lot because Chaos provides, like, peanut gallery commentary. The whole, not the whole time, but, like, just randomly Chaos would be like, yes, destruction. Take that. Except in their own way. It's great. I don't know. I just, I really love Chaos as the, like, Weird, unknowable, but loving great grand progenitor. <laughs> I like that that's, that's the official term that we have designated. I don't know if they say that in the game, but that's what we say around here. I want to give them more. I want to give them more. Uh, I should probably give it to somebody else. I've only got two. Okay. I'm just going to talk this time. After she bore her first children, I nevertheless expected her attention to remain undivided. I kept creating, and when finally I slowed, I realized my mistake. But our connection had been severed by that point. Oh my god! My family mending is going to be Chaos and Nyx? I mean, I'm going to be mending all these relationships. Can I... Hmm, probably not. Mm, probably not. I wonder if I can bring Nyx with me on my runs. Probably not, but if I could, I would absolutely bring her down here to chaos. But otherwise, I'm just going to have to do some long distance relationship counseling, family therapy here. I love that chaos is able to admit that they they made a mistake they did something wrong they misjudged a situation because they didn't understand people and for all that nicks it's funny when we started playing this game i talked about nicks being kind of like un, un, unknowable and like older and different and not quite not quite as human as zagreus and the rest of like the greek gods um uh, but like chaos is that like but it like orders of magnitude beyond um, and, uh, and so Chaos does not get the humanity of Nyx, just like Nyx maybe has some trouble with the humanity of Zagreus. I think Zagreus might be able to wrap his head around the humanity of other characters, because he's pretty human. Um, I don't know. Uh, he has a little bit of the self-centeredness that is typical of more the deities in this kind of story. Um given that he and like it could just be that he's kind of a little a little bit thoughtless a little bit selfish like when he when he goes to Thanatos <laughs> and a few things like that um I don't know but but I like I like this as like finding out that chaos like finding out what went down with chaos and Nyx because I'd wondered I was like did they just kind of grow apart and chaos is like no I messed up <laughs> But Chaos being able to say I made a mistake, I didn't understand her. I didn't know what it was like to have, I didn't know what it meant to have children for somebody like Nyx. Um, I don't know. I like that. I feel like in a way this is kind of humanizing Chaos, even if part of that humanity is a lack of understanding of others' humanity. Weren't we talking about putting hats, fishing caps? We were gonna get the like, like the 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 women fear me, fish fear me, everyone fears me, whatever hat or something like that, um, and putting a hat on every head on chaos, which is a whole bunch. Um, I'm really curious about that. Gods want me, fish fear me. Yeah, that's fair, Chrono. <laughs> Ooh. This is the one that is the least. Well, because I'm not going to. Mm. I don't think any of these are too, too bad. 
an ancient presence from which sprang forth every manner of existence. Because at this point, because I spent so long not using my blob, I can go, I can revert to not using my blob. Okay. So four encounters. Um, special. I don't use my special very much with the shield. I should, but I don't. So we're going to say no to that one. So with this one, this is useful for shopping. Or the mirror. I don't think that I'm really going after anything seriously there. On the other hand, I don't need money so much. And I do need help. So let's do this one. I don't think I need keys, so we're gonna go this route. I really wanted to fish because Chaos wanted me to fish, but. I wonder if you're more likely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. See, he's not totally without. He's not totally without, um. Feast for Aegis. Sass. Oh man. Oops. Well, I was gonna say something. Even his, like, silent self. I mean, he's not actually silent, but, like, for Zagreus, this is silent. Okay. Okay. Oh, friendship juice. Wonderful. Um, what was I? What was I? What was I gonna say? I was gonna think I was gonna say. Oh, look at that. Monies. Oh, but I don't get monies. Oh, I don't get monies. That's right. I forewent any monies. Yeah, when I get the shop and I can't do anything. See, that's why I like the shield. Oh my god, you hit me. Will you stop that? They're like, no, I won't stop that. Oh jeez, hold on. I'm trying to I'm trying to make myself actually use the weapon properly to remind myself how it works. All right. Who doesn't love this stuff? <laughs> See, he's coming together. He's doing all right. All right. Look, Forwent is right. I like I just Oh, did I get blown up, or did they get blown up, or did none of us get blown up? Did anybody get blown up there? Oh, jeez, will you stop? Oh, God damn it. oh. I need to remember that you... I'm really not doing well this run. I'm taking so much damage. I feel like maybe I'm not as good with the shield, and I'm beginning to get better at other weapons. Huh. I suppose that's true, Blue Glass. Increased darkness would have increased my healing from darkness, but I didn't think about that. I thought that the shield was the one- the shield is the one that I use the most, I feel. I like the shield a lot, largely because I really appreciate Chaos's commentary. I relate. Give me a character who talks a lot and always has something to say, <laughs> and I relate. Super giant games are very relatable for me. <laughs> They're full of chatterboxes. I want to meet the writer of these games, the head writer. I want to see if he's as much of a chatterbox as I am. I think that's probably fair, Chrono. I think that's probably fair. <laughs> but I liked it because before I realized that you could hit projectiles out of the air, I is shielded. I, I know, but I, I was more likely to accidentally block them with the shield. Chaos is super, super endearing. That's a good word for it. Oh my god, wait, the writer is Hypnos? Did you guys tell me that already? I bet you did. Oh, I don't want to have to do that. Oh, maybe I... Oh, oh, do you have to catch, 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 catch? Oh, I like this. We're going to do this one. Not too heavy. Uh, thanks, Zagreus. 
Yeah, I love, I really love Chaos. Like, Chaos is one of my favorite characters in it. Like, they're just really interesting and different. I've never encountered a character quite like Chaos before, and they're really endearing, which is really interesting. Um, so, yeah. Okay, well, somebody mentioned that, that Hypnos... Okay, well, I, I would like to meet the writer for these games. I have decided. I sometimes put a creator of something that I like, like, I'll put somebody, like, on the list of, like, I want to meet this person... And I'm pretty good at actually being able to have a conversation with them at least once. Um, uh, so I have put Greg Cassavin on the list of people I would like to talk to about stories and games. Um, Come on, then. Oh man, no longer remember you can do things. No, you go. You, no, you go, 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 go. I need to remember that that can hit multiple things. A new effect. Yay, now I have health. Excellent. Thank you, Chaos. You're my pal. <laughs> Man, the music is so good in this game. Oops, okay, that was. I wasn't sure which trap that was, so I was. Oh no! Nerd, huh? Okay, so that actually this encourages you to do a combo. Oh, you need to remember that I have cast. I for forgot that I had cast. That's no good. Well, look. Buttons are hard. This is why like I could have done the one that, that meant just not having just not having cast. Oh my god! Okay, so, yeah, so it's a combo. It makes you do a combo attack. Where you, like, you, you throw, you catch, hit, hit. Throw, catch, hit, hit. Throw, catch, hit, hit. Oh! I was concerned about what the things were that were flying towards me, but it turns out they were my blob. Did you see me remember that I had a blob that time? Because the game reminded me? Uh, you know... I don't have any money. Or early in the game gotta do this. Yeah, I spent about 30 runs. You shall pay for that. Shut up, Dad. You're the one who's gonna be paying for it. Witness. <laughs> Whatever, Dad. <laughs> Oh man, I got some monies. Yeah, I went about, I would say about 30, 30 runs without using the, the blob, the cast, because it was too many buttons for me to keep track of, but I eventually hit the point where I could keep track of it. Um, and now I'm sort of using it. I did a good job hitting those. I did that one fast. That's much faster than I usually do these, so. Oh, hello. You and me, Sneak. Oh my god, will you stop? Oh! That worked? Oh jeez, hold on. Uh... 
Oh, I didn't even get a chance to. I was gonna stay out of my way next time. <laughs> He's like, I'm unimpressed with you. All right, what is up, Dionysus, my friend? That underworld of yours plays us a real pit, isn't it, Zach? A shame you're stuck down there. But we are gonna get you out of there together, you and I. This actually should be, yeah. Um. I love Dionysus, and I know I say this every time, but it is so delightful. I I feel as though, I mean, I've ranked the gods in this game before, um, but I feel as though like there is a clear delineation between the ones who are definitely in your court and are here for you, their cousin, a person in need who they really very much want to get to know. Um, and the ones who are up to something or who want to help you for their own self-interest. Um, basically, the uncles versus the cousins. Well, some of the cousins. Yeah, well, because, like, Ares and Aphrodite. Aphrodite's not a cousin. Ares isn't a cousin, is he? I guess he is. He's one of Zeus's kids, isn't he? Aphrodite's not, though. She's, like... <laughs> she has a very special origin story. Um... But, okay, so there's a bad cousin. And we don't care about him. <laughs> and then there's the alright cousin, and she's alright. She's fine. She has divine dash. Honestly, Athena was always one of the ones I really liked as a kid. Um, and she's fine in this. I just, I don't take her as much to get to know her. Um, but she doesn't, maybe, maybe she goes in the cool cousin squad. I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't gotten to know her and given her the opportunity to be like, Zagreus, my cousin, I will help you. I hope you're all right. I bet it sucks down there. Let's help you out here. Um, which is, which is, um, like Dionysus and Artemis are very much like, man, we just want to get you out of there. We just want to get you out of there. And that's, like, they genuinely are like, like, you're in a bad situation and you want to come out, let us help you. Like, I love that. I love them. Um, and, uh, Hermes is definitely up to something. But the way that he talks to Zagreus, it seems like he genuinely likes Zagreus. So I'm choosing to trust him because he seems to be kind and caring. He's just scheming, which is part of why I like him so much. Why do I have always liked him? I am delighted to know that the gods that I always loved, I still love. And the ones that I always hated, I still hate. <laughs> and the ones that I never particularly cared one way or the other about, in this game, I tossed them aside. Hestia isn't in here. Um, I liked Hestia. I thought she was unappreciated, and I thought that people needed to be nicer to her when I was a kid. Um, but, yeah... Anyway, Dionysus is a sweetheart and a pal, and I got to share with my friend that I was talking to about this the other night, I got to share the description you folks have given me of Dionysus as having a drunk girl in the bathroom energy, which is so accurate for him. Does he have, like, does he have little, like, 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 little, like, pink, pink sparklies right here? Because that's how you know that he's drunk. He's such a cutie. Yes, that's why I want Hestia's gun. I want Hestia's gun because it's Hestia's gun. And I want I don't know why, but I want that to do something with Hestia. Or if nothing else, again, as I've said many times, shotgun granny Hestia is very interesting. Yes, Hermes is the god of thieving. No, it is it is it is one hundred percent in character for him to be scheming. When he was a tiny baby hiding out, he like stole Apollo's cows and put things on their feet and had them walk backwards out of something. So I can't remember all of what it was. But anyway, he pulled one up on Apollo, stealing Apollo's cows for no reason except that he was bored and he wanted to see if he could. Um, this literally one day old. I love Hermes. That was the first encounter I had as a child with Hermes. And I was like, this one's going to be my favorite. <laughs> because if there's one thing in this world I like... It's clever little smart asses. And this has been true for literally as long as I can remember. So. 
Um. <laughs> uh, amazing stuff. Uh, then, then it turns out I hadn't yet discovered that Artemis was the best, but then I found Artemis and I just really got attached to her. Um, it's funny, actually. I think my lifelong love of, and my childhood love of, of Peter Pan is like the intersection of my love for Hermes and my love for Artemis, because Artemis is the protector of the innocent and wild things. Um, and so she lives on her own terms and does not enter into traditional adulthood as it is expected of her. Um, and Hermes is... Again, a clever, scheming, smartass. I'm allowed to say, say that as many times as I want to. I don't usually swear on streams, but I've given myself permission when playing Hades. Um, on, and so Peter, Peter Pan is childhood innocence, including brattiness, because kids have not fully learned to wrap their heads around consequences, especially as they affect other people, like the brain is still forming. So Peter is permanently in a state of innocence for better and for worse. Like people frequently think childlike innocence, childhood innocence is this like, it means that you're, you're sweet and pure and good all the time. No, no. Peter Pan is like the quintessential child for better and for worse. Um, so he's like, he's like the clever scheming smart ass who also is all about um, protecting and being part of like, the um the f young and young at heart um and like those were like some of my favorite things just favorite characters in stories as a child artemis and hermes and peter pan you can you can see the parallels though right can't you if i were to be like my favorite god is hermes and my favorite goddess is artemis and i love peter pan like you can see that right like that's that's like a direct connection right there. Um, <laughs> anyway. Oh, Kath, cosplay opportunities for you to cosplay, for many people to cosplay. Are you working on a costume from Hades? Their designs are really gorgeous. Oh man. Positive outlook is really great. Oh. Oh. You totally should, Kath. You totally should work on Nyx. That would be fantastic. Um, Random Rebel Eclipse. The original Peter Pan, do you mean versus, uh, versus the Disney version? Um, because I am, in fact, talking about the original Peter Pan. Well, okay. The original Peter Pan from the novel. I have not actually read Peter and Wendy, which predated the novel, if I remember correctly. So technically, Peter and Wendy, the stage play, is the original, original Peter Pan. I should probably read it. I haven't yet. Anyway, my life goals were to either run off to Neverland and join Peter or start up my own rival gang if he wouldn't let me join him. Um, or or swear my allegiance to Artemis and follow after her. Those those were those were those were my plans. <laughs> good night, Mega Spell, sleep well. Thank you for dropping by. It was good to see you again. I kind of want to just do this one because like, I'm still, I'm holding out hope for that. I do really like positive outlook. Hold on. I can do this. My outfit is Chris. Oh, this is my Robin Hood outfit. <laughs> Peter's never that nice of a child. Like that's one of his defining character traits is that he's not a nice kid. He's a kid. And kids left to their own devices are mean a lot of times, or at least thoughtless. He is the most innocent. So he doesn't even have the, like, uh, grown-up enforced civilization necessary to cause somebody to further develop their sense of empathy. That's what I'm saying. He's just a kid. He's just, he's just pure childhood, for better and for worse. It's fantastic, and I think it's hilarious when people are like, no, but children are good and pure and kind. I'm like, have you ever hung out with a kid? Spend some time with a two-year-old. Or like a four-year-old. Or like the ten-year-old who pushes you into the pool on, in winter because you told them something they didn't want. Like, 
I used to be a nanny and a babysitter and a tutor, so I have a lot of experience with children. Um, yeah, this is my Robin Hood outfit. I have, like, a brown belt, and I have this, like, green Robin Hood tunic, and then I have my... I, you gotta be able to go through the forest and, and when it's colder out and stay warm. <laughs> Look, some of us take our love for charming rogues with the heart of gold very seriously and choose to dress like them. <laughs> All right, so am I still trying to get one of his? Yes, peer pressure. I need drunken dash, drunken strike, or drunken flourish. I'm just going to go ahead and take the one. I mean, I love Athena. Um, Divine Dash is great. We'll take this. Why not? Oh, 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 friendship, 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 folks. Friendship. Yes, what are you up to, Sisyphus, my friend? Pushing a boulder. How is Boldy? I feel like... This one is moving faster than usual, I think. I feel like Zagreus would ask after. Oh my god, he's talking to Boldy. Sorry, I should be like, how is Boldy doing? <laughs> oh man. I mean, I should probably give some friendship juice to more of them. I, just, I like all of them so much. I like all of them. You are a sight for sore eyes, Prince. <laughs> I definitely need healing. Like, darkness is useful, but I don't think it will actually recover that much health and I'm about to go fight a boss. So I think... I think I need healing. I usually take darkness because it provides healing as well. But I am missing... 80 health, and I feel like he will not give me enough darkness to make up that health. So we'll do this. I got you covered. Burger and fries. Oh, it only restores 50 anyway. That's okay. Hi, pal. So I want to give you friendship juice. Sure. Oh my, you're really giving that to me, there, Prince. But I'm just. Well, why would you? Because you become a good person, Sisyphus, and a good friend. You better believe it, sir. Now you take care. Be seeing you around. I probably should have taken the darkness, but that's okay. Oh, friend. Yay! This is not going to help me in my goal to get somebody maxed out, but that's okay. Hi, Boldy. Boldy's face is kind of like like Sisyphus has a very broad face. They have a they have a resemblance those two. See you again, right? Oh yes, friend. I mean, I guess we're not about to fight, but why do I think that he's usually? <laughs> okay, us. Yeah, stun lock. That's what that's called, right? Oh, right. I forgot about this. Oh, and I can make them drunk. It's great. All right. Get some monies. That's my impression of the monies happening. All right. I'm working on it. All right. I don't think I need keys. I don't think there's anything else I need keys. I think I used all of the thing that I have keys for. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, don't you? No. No, 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 no. 
No, no, you stop that. Why are you not taking damage? I don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. Do not like. Oh my god. Did I make that move? Mine now. All right. What sh what can we shop for? How much money have I got? I've actually got How did I get so much money? I had a no monies. The riches of the underworld sometimes rise up from the suffocating dark. Just unnecessarily good writing. Um Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess actually I could do like some actual shopping. Sure. Watch me regret that. Kieran's shop. Yes. Okay. Don't spend it all in one place. Even there in your underworld, it seems quality hunting gear doesn't come cheap. Apparently. <laughs> Amazing. She's my favorite. Have I ever mentioned that I like Artemis? Once or twice, maybe. Or have I gotten all of hers? Hunter Instinct. Deadly Strike Pressure Points. So just to be clear, I don't generally ask for advice on how to play the game or what to take. I may talk through my thought process, um, but uh, but generally speaking, I don't I don't want other people to make the decisions or suggestions on what I should do. I like to play the game my way, for better and for worse. Um, Kath, I like the music a lot. I, I have been working on a cover, and I have been working on it. I mean, a friend recorded it on guitar, and I need to, and I, I, I've used it for concerts. Oh, speaking of, I have a concert coming on the 4th, December the 4th, a charity concert. That's a Saturday. A charity concert for children, so I will be doing a family-friendly show, which is not actually that hard for me to do. Um, so I'll be doing some, like, winter-themed music, probably. Um, I don't know if I'll do Good Riddance for that, but I've been doing Good Riddance. Um, and I like to sing along with Eurydice because it's a beautiful song. Okay, so Deadly Strike, Pressure Points, Deadly Flourish, or True Shot. This is the one that I'd actually be least interested in taking, but it does mean that I might be more likely to... I don't know. The question is, am I going to try to get bonuses or am I gonna try to beat dad oh man chrono I do not have the wild arms theme no but it is a favorite of mine so I start losing my mind and yelling about it whenever it comes up so oh well, that's all right blue glass there'll be more I'm thinking my birthday is in January and then I'm thinking about doing another concert where I have a bunch of my friends for my birthday so like having like a couple of streams have like a cooking stream and then have like a birthday concert the weekend around my birthday maybe in the cooking stream we could cook something for my birthday party on saturday and then sunday we could have a concert with all my friends that couldn't make it because they don't live near me we'll see but um i'm hoping for that so if there's anybody you would like to see again for um another concert where i'm hosting friends let me know all right so 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 um I'm gonna take this one. Why not? I'm gonna take this one too. Pleasure doing business. Yeah. Did it. Alright, we're gonna talk to Charon. Maybe I should give him Oh. Okay. Um, Charon, mate. I don't suppose you've given any further thought to my proposal to just, you know, 
carry me up to the surface, seeing as it's not out of your way. <laughs> Thanks, Agrius. He's a sweetie. I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Amazing. Alright, let's go do this. Yeah, we gotta try. We did get a try. We did it. Electo. Good. I've got a lot to be thankful for, you know, Red Blood. Your daddy could have shut you in the lowest pits, and then we never would have met. She's so unpleasant. Also, she's the hardest one, so we'll see how we do. The way that Zagreus says her name, it's like Electo. He's like, oh god, here she is. Perish the thought, Electo. What would you have done with yourself if not for all our fated encounters? Oh my god. Oh my god. He's such a snarky baby. I love him the most. I just love their characters. I want to be able to write clever dialogue and be clever dialogue. I want to be clever and cool like a Super Giant Games protagonist. Or at least to write Super Giant Games quality. But that's okay. No, Vi, I decided against it this time. I think Hermes is the god of sass. I, I would I would say that probably he's the god of sass, but Zagreus, Hermes might, might be willing to share that one. So fated encounters is an interesting term for him to use. Also the fates are, are they related to the fairies? I don't know. I mean, before we met, I've laid all sorts of other trash down here. But lately, I've been keeping them waiting because of you. Oh, good. I'm messing with the entire, like... I'm sorry. Guitars. I mean, I mean, what? <laughs> 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 what was I saying? They're just so perfect. Like, the tone is exactly right, and like, the panning, the balance between the two of them is like, just perfect. It's like being, like, standing in the perfect spot at an incredibly well-mixed show, while a band that has incredible guitarists times two. Well, more than that. That's just like the leads. And then there's like the acoustic strumming too. And then you can hear the bass. And there's a theremin in there, of course. That would be the flute. And you're just like getting your face melted off by the incredible guitar work. And the theremin, just, just, it'd be so easy to put a flute in place of theremin is what I'm, is what I'm, what I'm getting at here. My band needs to cover Hades music. Maybe. We only have one guitar though, which is a shortage of guitars. <laughs> Thanks, Blue Glass. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to continue with this fight. I just, it's just really good music, folks. What, what, what do you want from me? <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, she's impervious. I have never figured out her, oops, her mad, like, like, she gets mad, and I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do about that, or if I can even do anything about it. Oh, jeez, nope. Nope. Stop! I'm trying to get the- No, stop! Will you stop, lady? Stop! Oh my god, this is all my own fault. Oops, that was not what I meant to do! No! Will you- You- You die already! Oh my god, she perma-raged? That doesn't seem good. I don't know what that means. But it doesn't look good for me. <laughs> oh, she's mad. 
Why is she talking so much? Does she usually talk this much? I feel like she doesn't. Okay, Lauren, stop running into those. How did that get her? What did damage to her? Did she get impaled? She won't like this. Or was she drunk? How did I get her? I didn't think I did any damage to her. A lot of poison damage from the dashes. Okay. Okay, so she... Okay, so... So it was a combination of things that were not me hitting her. Okay, good. Because I was like, I swear I didn't hit her that much. So she got spiked and poisoned and generally bad. So she was drunk and had a, an encounter with spikes. Well, good. She could probably stand to... I don't know, actually. She seems like she would be very dangerous drunk. So... Oh, oh, and I've got the Meg's skull earring is going, which tells me that I'm low on health. He has no lives lost against Electo, so that's good. Because Electo is pretty tough, generally speaking. Her creepy goth basement here. All right. I think that might be the first time I beat Electo without losing a life. Yeah, I, I had more health at the end than I expected. Oh, Shut up, Dad. You Are you That's trying? You what trying to... S <laughs> Hades is trying to sass. Zagreus did not get his sassing from his dad. <laughs> yes, Electo would definitely be the kind of drunk that would be very dangerous. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. It's fine. We're fine. Do I want... Do I want... It's really useful. It's good. It's a good one. And I'd rather... I'm going to level it up. Alright. Let's go for it. Peace out, Dad. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, let's go do it. Beat up some Hydra. Somewhere. Let's go take a look at Asphodel's flaming lava pits. Across the Phlegathon and up we go. Phlegathon is such an interesting word. Phlegathon. Smash. All right. Yay, Hermes. I love Hermes. He's... I'm just really curious what he's up to. I just really, really want to know. Oh, look! Fishing! Fishing! Oops. Oh, man. This is a good dash, though, especially because it's, like, super extra intense version of it. Oh, shoot. I need to come after here. After you. Oh, get off the fire! Get off the fire, Lauren! Oh, jeez. There's speaking of fire. There's more fire. All right. He's back, he says. Was Hermes ever gone? You know, cuz, all this time that I've been busting souls across the borders of your father's land, it's good to have the chance to help somebody out the other way. <laughs> Hermes, are you up to something about this specifically? I just, the fact that Hermes hasn't been back to Olympus, but kind of acts like he has been. I'm just, just saying. Uh, sir, what am I missing for him? Am I missing a thing for him? Rush delivery, greater haste, hyper sprint, or the Lambert plume. Wow, I can just use his plume. Greater haste, hyper sprint. I don't have either one of these, so. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's so many dashes. I'm going to dash too many times. I'm going to wind up going where I don't mean to go. All right, let's fish, folks. Let's fish. Looks like a good spot. Chaos can watch this through the shields. I've got their shield. Got you. 
Yes. A slob bug. Yes. <laughs> what was that sound, Zagreus? <laughs> did he just go there? Which way? He did. Uh, okay, palms are good. So is health. But I did get an extra health from. I mean, I'm probably gonna regret this, but that's fine. I did get extra health from uh, from chaos. Oh, it's the Phantom of the Opera song. Oh, man, I miss my band. I miss doing Phantom with my band. Oh, that was that was entirely my fault. She's getting warmed up because you're in the land of lava, huh? Zagreus. Oops. No. Will you stop that, you butt? I don't like you. Stop exploding me. <laughs> See, chaos is just the best, all right? Okay. A palm of power. I do feel like I'm bringing things down faster, like taking things out faster these God's days. Me strength. Oh, I need to remember this. Um, dash causes hangover. More damage. Pff, hangovers made a big difference for me, and I have so many dashes that I'm just. Like, do you see this madness? Okay, so we have shopping, palm, or monies. How much monies do I have? I can maybe shop maybe do a little bit of shopping. Let's do a little bit of shopping. See what's going on. Hello, Caron, my fine fellow. How are you doing these days? This day. What is... Wait, does he always have this glowing money... like a really good way to get cursed just saying like on one hand I want to know what it does on the other hand it's probably not gonna be good for me but I guess this means you must have paid the boatman's ransom here and whatever price he charged you it was worth it yes that's right Artemis please give me your call yes the best. <sighs> yeah, I'm kind of thinking YOLO here. Sure. Oh, poor Zagreus. I wonder if Zagreus just plain doesn't care. This is gonna be, this is gonna go badly. This is gonna go badly. I'm gonna have to fight him. Something terrible is going to happen. <sighs> but I honestly think it is possible that Zagreus might be like saying to hell with it. Yeah. Woo! Thank you, Caron. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm I'm concerned. This is not going to go well. Um, <sighs> Caron, look, I, I can explain. It's just I've grown very accustomed to taking stuff throughout my father's realm. I wasn't stealing from you, honestly. I'm sorry, Zagreus. You are my absolute favorite character archetype of all time. And you are an excellent example of that character archetype. However, the clever smart asses who talk their way into and out of trouble 
continue to try to talk their way out of trouble that they cannot talk their way out of. This is, this is a case in which he's going to try to talk himself out of it. But, uh, he's not going to be able to. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's not an understanding sound. Wait, why are you brandishing your oar in such a menacing way? This is like a... Oh, jeez. I probably shouldn't have done that. So much for this run, folks. I'm sorry, Zagreus, honey. Oh, it's because you're going to kill me. <gasps> I'm gonna get the boatman drunk. Holy crap! Fortunately, I have learned. Oh, jeez! Oop. Oh my god, he has a lightsaber? Oh, jeez! How am I. You take it. You do a lot of damage, sir. Okay, probably being near the wall where he does that is a bad idea. Oh, shoot. His music is actually pretty chill, all things considered. Impervious. I don't like this. Oh, jeez. I don't know what that did. Oh, am I supposed to have been using those to, to avoid him? I guess I am. Oh, there we go. <sighs> God, those do a lot of damage. Even with... Oh, the music picked up. Oh my god. Oh boy! Right! Okay, okay, okay! I got it! Don't get hit by him, Lauren! I need to remember my buttons. That might help. So this was a very good fight to have four dashes on because like when he does the to the double purple guys you want to be able to get out of the way of all of them and so having four um having four four uh dashes is is the reason why i did that i also forgot my buttons a bunch um, so I would have taken less damage if I remembered how to play the game, but, but I'm good at dodging. It's the one thing I'm good at. And I guess I got him drunk. It's a good thing for me to have things that do passive damage. 
because I'm not the best at dealing damage. But I guess I'm pretty good at not getting hit, relatively speaking. I thought I, I thought for sure I was going to die, folks. I thought for sure that was it. I think he thinks it's funny. Oh, look, there's a, there's a thing that, there's a, there's a, there's a dot. Okay. 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 Well, I feel, I feel bad about doing this, except that he seems to think it's funny. The thing is, a part of why I maybe felt a little bit safe taking this as far as like the story goes. Yes. Artemis's call is amazing. I, I definitely know like what my like favorites are. Um, but, uh, like, I just, so when you, when you irritate the gods, I can swear on this stream in particular, when you piss someone off, <laughs> I feel so naughty when I swear on streams, um, uh, like they forgive you afterwards sometimes because they're like, okay, I worked this out of my system. Sometimes they're like, man, you are awesome. You did an awesome job. Okay. That's good. Um, but, uh. Like, so I was like, maybe it'd be okay. Um, maybe he'll forgive me. And he seems to think it's funny. So that's good. He, I didn't even get him down to full. To, to, you don't have to get him down to zero health. He stops. He, he still had some health left. And he was like, okay, this is close enough. Good job. Good job, kid. All right. You, you, you've earned it. You worked hard. Um, yeah. 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 He does a lot of damage. It took me a bit to realize just how much damage, probably because I didn't take direct hits for a while. <laughs> and then I did. And I was like, oh. Yeah, no, I'm definitely going to check the glowy. I always check the glowy first. He is very hard, I think. I could, how's this? I could tell it was a very hard fight. And despite being really, really sloppy at dealing damage, I was at least on top of my game not taking the damage. Okay. No way, a membership card for me. Oh my god, I love you so much, Zagreus. You are the absolute best. A hidden stretch of the boundless river Styx cuts through misty Erebus, Erebus. providing for the river boatman Charon, a locale in which to deal with the unruliest of souls. That's me. <laughs> nice place you got here, mate. Oh. <laughs> 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 No, it's all good. Yeah, to not taking damage, that's... Well, like, that's the thing that I'm good at in video games, generally speaking, is not taking damage. <laughs> that's why I have a hard time with the, like, kill enemies in set amount of time thing, unless I, like... Like, as, as I wind up with, like, more powerful weapons and stuff that are better suited for that. But I, by myself, am not good at doing big damage, but I'm good at not getting hit. I don't know how that translates to like a party system if i were with other people like i don't know what class that would make me useful as but i have that hi karen i'm not going to talk to me here huh look at this it, it is kind of a nice place can't just go running off into sticks i tried <laughs> brandishing <laughs> it's not a friendly way in which he's brandishing Get to it. Oh my god. Okay, so if anybody missed my little preamble thing before we started the stream, I was really frazzled at the beginning of the stream because I am the marketing manager for uh, a company that sells uh, sells sells software online, and I'm new to the company, and we have just had to do pre-orders um, because for our biggest product of the year because it got postponed. Um, so I had to put those together with very little lead time and then I'm going to have to launch that in December in addition to Black Friday and also the December sale, which is a lot to do all at once. So it's very funny to me because the number of things that I have written this week, about 20% off, 50% off, whatever percent off, it's coming to haunt me in video games too. <laughs> I can't get away. I can't get away. Am I Caron's head of marketing? What would, like, I mean, he's kind of got a captive audience. He doesn't really need marketing. Then again, like, a lot of big brands don't really need marketing. They do it anyway. <laughs> so, uh, oh my God. 
Chiffon, yes. Oh man. <laughs> I know Panic Lift. Yeah, well we 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 yeah. <laughs> It's all right though. It's going to be awesome when it comes out. So, uh, so it'll be worth it. And everybody's excited about it. It's just, just how it goes, especially with a small team, but it's very cool stuff. So I get to, I get to at least like the people that I work with and for. So yeah, fortunately I don't have to deal with the development side of things. They all work on the development and I'm like, here's the marketing idea I have for your thing. Um, yeah, I feel like Caron does not need marketing though he like I said he has a captive audience um it's a membership card oh wait 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 no but they literally mean 20 percent off shopping in this game because you shop in this game you spend money in this game i'm gonna get a card that makes it so that it costs less to buy stuff from him amazing holy crap i just realized that i thought it was a joke because i was playing okay n i won't say spoilers but delta rune has content that includes like discount off like characters or things that like say lines around that and so between writing a bunch of black friday emails this week and also delta rune having like this like have like being discussed and appearing in the game i forgot that this could just actually literally mean you get 20 percent off shopping <laughs> in the game. I don't know, folks. I don't know. Also, Nick, that's an absolutely terrible, terrible pun. We don't actually see him in his boat, do we? All right, let's take this. Look sure. These savings. <laughs> Look at these savings. He sounds so excited about that. You two again. Oh, geez, I'm going to die here. They just like throw you right in there. He's like, nice try, kid. Yep. Yeah, that's okay. Did we really expect that to go any better? I had like 20 hell. Ugh, not a word of this to do, sir. <laughs> yeah, I did fight. Oh, loyalty card. Ooh. Learn more by collecting loyalty card. 10. Oh, I'm going to have to fight him a bunch. This is not just like a one-time thing. Oh my goodness. between hauling and the souls of mortals like morning's good catch seems quite concerned with his vast collection of material things amid the finery the shining metal coins and baubles i know are artifacts of considerable power but for what for whom he cannot be his only customer hauling around to hold his stuff about huh 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 I'm just thinking about this. So Hermes and Charon are, are BFFs. And I wonder if they are up to something. What are they gathering the artifacts for? Are they going to pull a Prometheus? Hmm. 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 Based on nothing more than trusting and liking Hermes so far, seeing what Demeter has done to the surface and the gods aren't doing anything about it as far as I can tell. Are we going to give them some power to maybe not be sad? The mortals, I mean. Are we going to give them artifacts of considerable power? Are we taking down Olympus? Hermes? I mean, that's pretty out there. So that's probably not what they're doing. But it could be. More likely, they just mean for me. But I don't think. I think there's more to it. Just he's got to be arming somebody. He's got to be selling stuff to somebody. 
And I just don't think that Hades, no Hades, I don't think Hermes would be bringing the, the Titans back. Hermes doesn't have any reason to bring the Titans back unless he wants the gods to stop being dumb and he thinks bringing back an enemy for them to fight will make them stop fighting each other. That is the sort of thing that like a relatable villain in an anime would do. I will, I will resurrect the ancient gods so that we can have a unified enemy and stop fighting amongst ourselves in comic books. Pretty sure that happened in comic books. So there's my two completely out there ideas of what Hermes could be up to at this point with um, Charon as his, as his, uh, uh, what's the word when you're, when you're, this word, this word, this word. Mm, not partner in crime. Oh, that's right. That's, um, that's, a that's, a that's, um, Watchmen. Okay. Um, there's other things that do that too. Um, but those are two, those are two different directions that this could be. Not in cahoots. No, the, the person, accomplice, accomplice. Thank you, Champel. Sorry. Um, my brain is, I've been having some problems with my brain this week, which often means that the words don't come that I want to come. So words... If I, if I, if I, if I fail to get my word and, and you can help me with that word, I appreciate it very much. Cahoots is a fun word. It's, it's, it feels very like old timey. Oh man. Well, see, like words are usually easy for me, but, um, sometimes the part of my brain that keeps the word that I want is out of reach. And that's very frustrating for somebody who is as reliant on words, both spoken and written as I am. Yeah. It's a, no, this is not a, this is not a case of words are that way for everyone. No, this is literally, I had to have a medication that I was on decreased so that I could start accessing my words again, because I depend on my words, um, as a professional writer <laughs> and a hobbyist conversationalist, <laughs> not being able to get the word that I needed, um, when I had never had that problem before rendered me unable to do my job. So I dropped a dose years ago um, of the medication that was making my words out of reach and my words came back. But when my brain is having a harder time, that starts popping up again. Fortunately, I may be going off of that medication entirely and I'm hoping that it will mean that the parts of my brain that are like that will go back to the way they were before I started taking the medication like 13 years ago. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's why when I talk about having lost my words, that's what I mean. And that's why I take it more seriously other than like, just like, oh, whoops, sorry, it slipped my mind. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's a little bit different than that. Um, and it's funny, actually, I have a friend who's on the same medication. And when she started the medication, because she and I had talked about, she knew about like the side effects that I had. Um, and so when it started happening to her, where she lost her words, um, she, instead of freaking out like I did, she was like, okay, I know what's causing this. I know it's not something fundamentally wrong with my brain. Um, and she's a, she's a teacher. And so like the students will know, like miss has lost, has lost her words, has lost her words. So we'll wait for her to get it back or she'll use a different word. <clears throat> sort of weird thing that like that brain, that medicine helps with other things, but it happens to like hit a little switch in your brain that controls your access to your vocabulary. And it doesn't completely, completely take away your ability to use your vocabulary. It just sometimes flares up. I don't know. Man, brain meds are weird. Meds are weird. Medication is very much like we we started this thing, which which we noticed kind of did this, but then it started doing that. We don't know why, but it does. So here. Anyway, we'll see what's actually going on. Infernal Trove. Everywhere you look, this wealth is on display. And any tampering causes the contents to begin to transfer beyond reach. Hmm. Ah, the content. Oh, okay, so the contents start. This is why it's a timed thing. The contents start going away while you beat up the shades. And then when you defeat the shades, whatever hasn't been able to transfer away, you get to keep. Got it. Oh, look at that. If the dead excel at anything, it is having to wait. The first thing almost all the dead must do upon arriving at the edges of this realm. I haven't actually been there properly. I think there's probably another way to get there. And I went in through the back door. Interesting. Well, I'm probably, it's probably going to take me a while to get that one. And the loyalty card one. 
Man. Well, that's interesting stuff. Oh. I feel like more people are missing more often these days. Yeah, Thanatos isn't here. Hi, Achilles. How are you doing, friend? How fair your labors, lad? You have a certain look about you. Everything all right? Yeah, I just, um... <laughs> Tried to steal from the boatman. <laughs> Nothing major. No big deal. Nothing to see here. It's just within Elysium, <gasps> I found on a shade who said he knew you, said he misses you. Do you know a Patroclus, sir? <sighs> Patroclus. That's how you say his name. Okay. Here I was, like, wisecracking, being silly. And instead, the game was like, Lauren, would you like to have the story progress with the character you like most in this game? And I'm like, okay, yes, you got me. Patroclus. What? I, yes. I knew Patroclus. Did he... Is he all right? He... I don't know. It seemed like he's known better times than these. Is there something I should say to him if I run into him again? Please send him my regards and all my love. I think of him always, but I cannot see him any longer. And you mustn't ask me why, do you understand? Now, leave me be, please, lad. I need some time. This has something to do with the deal that Achilles made. <clears throat> I bet that if Achilles actually sees Patroclus, uh, that's his name, um, I can't pronounce it right. I bet that if he sees him, it's gonna be, he's gonna like disappear, or something bad's gonna happen, it's gonna be like Orpheus and Eurydice, and Achilles, unlike Orpheus, is actually gonna follow the terms of his agreement so that his beloved doesn't have to suffer. <sighs> that would complicate my plans to meddle. However, that doesn't make my meddling impossible. It complicates my plans. It just means that I'm going to have to take into consideration, you know, where is that written down? Can I set that contract on fire? Can I punch my dad in the face enough to make him take it back? You know, I'm just saying there's ways. I don't know what they are, but Zagreus and I are going to find it because we are meddlers and Achilles deserves to be reunited with his one true love. So help me. It, it is, it, it is, it is a little challenging, but you know, that's fine. That's fine. Otherwise it would be too easy, right? I take care then, sir. Poor Zagreus. He's like, okay, something really big is going on here. All my love, huh? What is he? Like, he knows it's a big thing. He knows he can't ask about it. He wants to ask about it. He, he clearly loves Achilles very much as a father figure who he might have had a crush on <laughs> when he was younger. Although, like, I mean, I guess he does like them kind of broody, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, Zagreus, honey. <sighs> That's okay. I, uh, I tend towards, uh, Ten tards, like, sort of broody girls myself, so, like, I can't fault you there, buddy. <sighs> Look. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to friendship juice him. I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't friendship juice him. He's got to have his moment. <laughs> Shut up up dad oh wait did i use up all no i don't i still have some friendship juice okay i just okay look i don't know why I, i'm not like oh man i sure do like a broody girl <laughs> i just seem to like girls who are broody sometimes or, and i say broody like i'm like i'm not actually like making fun of my ex-girlfriends actually they are they are very kind delightful smart talented wonderful people um, but, uh, like, there's different ways that people can lean, emotionally speaking, and they tend to be a bit more depressed. Um, but 
they're just really great. Girls are just really, that's true. It is, I, I don't like mean, mean girls. I've never been interested in a mean girl. I don't think I would. That's not my type. <laughs> no, like, I like really smart, sweet girls who like my sense of humor and have big feelings, but kind of try not to let on how big their feelings are <laughs> because they want you to think they're cool. <laughs> and have it all together and it's adorable and sometimes difficult <laughs> no not artemis artemis is like she doesn't know what to do with her feelings and she's socially she she doesn't like socializing or people. <laughs> I do. Um, no, I tend to like, I don't know. Sorry. No, my, 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 my interest in Artemis is purely, purely, purely platonic. She is, uh, she is my, uh, my, my, my goddess of choice. And I, I, I like her as an ace gray arrow person. Like, that's how I've always read her. I guess demi-romantic and asexual has always been my reading of her. Which I, 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 which is part of why people are like, oh, you love her. Does that mean that you like, like, like her? And I'm like, no, she does not get to be my Hades girlfriend. I don't really have a Hades girlfriend, I don't think. Ooh, we talked about this. Not that there's like, like, part of it is that there's not as many girls to choose from. And like, I love Eurydice, but like, I tend to like girls who are like a little younger than me. And Eurydice comes across as being like the big sister. I'd rather be more like the Eurydice. <laughs> um, yeah, and like, I think, like, no, 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 no. Like, no. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> if there were to be a girl in this game who would be my, my, my type, it would be Dusa. She's sweet a little shy and awkward, not quite sure what to do with herself, especially when she talks to you like girls who get flustered. I'm sorry, especially when they're trying not to let on that they're flustered. It's very cute. Um. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. I mean, she's a floating head with no discernible age, which is a bit difficult. But if you like made like a pretty girl version of Dusa with like cute little round cheeks. Okay. <laughs> That's it. You got, you got me. <laughs> I feel like that's a terrible choice though because again we don't know how old she is and she doesn't have a body and it just I don't know she seems to like young ish maybe I don't know hi Vulcan Raven I don't know we've decided that Dusa is the character who's closest to my type and I don't know how I feel about this I love Dusa I really do like go like bowling. I don't know if she goes bowling. Or like, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> hi. <laughs> How did we get started on this? <sighs> it's probably my fault. Oh, I was talking about Zagreus's taste, which necessitated mentioning my own taste for some reason. <laughs> Oh man, anyway, look. 
I'm gonna talk to Cerberus now. Cerberus is busily considering upon what else to gnaw. Good boy. Maybe chew on dad's desk. I think that that would be some good destruction. Granted, I might have a, a predisposition towards property damage, but, you know. Dad said, ha, when I walked in. Let's get this over with. I'm truly sorry that he's troubled you again, Cerberus. I know how much you value resting here, and yet... I have no better means to bar the entry to our realm than you. I didn't even make it to him this time around. I got thoroughly trounced by the boatman, and then a Medusa head looked at me funny and I died. It was embarrassing. But I beat Caron on my first try, so I feel like that's got to count for something. <laughs> I thought you'd figured out by now that guilting me into abandoning my quest won't work. You're the one who should feel guilty forcing Cerberus to block my path. I'm pretty sure we've already yelled at him about this. Yep. What would you know of it? Cerberus cannot be forced to do anything. He simply understands he has responsibilities. Oh man, so actually that line is not actually talking about Kerberos at all. That is entirely Hades trying to, again, passive-aggressively use guilt and disapproval to control Zagreus' actions. Like, all of this is trying... Like, Hades just keeps trying to control him. Hades, what happened to you, man? How did Persephone ever love you if you were like this? Did you cut your heart out so that you didn't feel anything after your child died? Did you sacrifice your heart and ability to feel? Did you make a deal with somebody you shouldn't have to bring your son back from the dead? And consequently... Some of the the things that we're dealing with here, are the, the the terms, the aftermath of the terms of that agreement, I bet that's what happened. Hades, who did you make a deal with? Hades, did you make a deal with the fates? There's not anybody but the fates. What did you do? What did you trade? It has to have been his heart. Maybe? Because Persephone loved him and Kerberos loves him. Maybe Kerberos knows what he was like before he gave his gave his heart away. This is our new theory. I'm sorry, folks. But my old one got partially confirmed, but mostly explained. And now I have to build on it. So, reminder to everybody. I do this thing. We call it mini golfing. We do need a mini golf emote, don't we? <laughs> Maybe I'll make one. Maybe I'll make one. Um, we have to figure out which, which emote should we replace with it, though. Um, but, uh, but okay, we'll get a mini golf one. Um, cause that's, uh, we're leaning into that as a term. So mini golfing, I like to speculate. I like to try to figure out what's going on and what's going to happen. Like what happened behind the scenes? What's with the secrets? What's with the mysteries? And also like, where's the story going? I really enjoy that. Um, due to, um, a really <laughs> incredibly brilliant metaphor that I use during Final Fantasy X. We call that mini golfing. Um, when I start talking about stuff like this, I don't actually want answers um, to the questions unless I specifically say chat answer this question for me. And I'll be very particular about the terms of the question and its answers. Otherwise, I don't want to know. So keep your secrets to yourself. Um, but we have a spoiler channel where you can go and yell together. So I have now given spoiler channel more things to yell about. Whether the things that you're yelling about are like, where did she come up with this stuff? Or like, wow, how did she see that? Or like anything in between, maybe, maybe a little column A, maybe a little column B. Um, <clears throat> yes. So go hang out 
in our Discord, ask a mod for, for access to the stream spoilers channel. And again, YouTube, you can ask permission too. And I think if you pop in and they're in like, and they're like, hey, I'm watching the Hades stream from last week. Is anybody around for me to yell with? Maybe somebody in there will yell with you if you invite them. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't know what stream spoilers channel culture is like because I don't go there. It's off limits for Lawrence. Um, but yeah. Um, wait, Twitch just gave affiliates new emotes, emote slots. Does that mean I have more emote slots? Should we celebrate this? Should I make a mini golf one tomorrow and have it in time for the final Delta Rune stream, which we won't need because we're about to beat the game, but whatever. Well, chapter, we'll make a mini golf about future chapters. That still counts. Okay. Somebody suggested to me on discord what the mini golf emote should be. I will take suggestions on how it should work and then I will make it. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Guess this really feels like a good one. No, that feels too complicated, Chrono. Maybe it should just be like a, I don't know, a golf club or something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I just, I feel like, I feel like like the little bit, the, 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 the little bitty, little bitty, you can't see the details, but we'll see. We'll see. I will figure it out. Oh my God, those tiny pencils. Okay, well, I like that. I like this. I like this. Anyway, so yeah, so this is my mini golf thing. All right. Current working theory. We are going to build things on this theory as though it is fact. I am aware that it is just a theory and not fact. But I like to live dangerously, so I will build an entire house of cards on top of it. And keep, like, adding to it and then occasionally, like, push it around. <laughs> shift it take a card off, put it back on, hope the whole thing doesn't come tumbling down. I, I'm honestly, I feel like I'm pretty decent at, at following what's going on. Like, I think I have a pretty good sense for Hades. Um, so what we got, what we got is Zagreus died somehow. I don't know what killed him or who killed him. We'll figure that out later because I have no idea unless they did something that they shouldn't have done to try to. Hades sure does hate his family. He sure does hate Zeus. No, Zeus wouldn't No, None of the gods that are trying to help Zagreus get out would know somebody or something. Somebody or something must have killed him. And that would kind of make sense. Hmm. I don't know who or what that would be. But you don't just like fall over dead by accident as the son of Hades and Persephone. Like you, you don't like you're, you're, you're full blown child of gods, plural. You don't just fall over dead cause you caught a cold. So either something was wrong with him when he was born that like was incompatible with life. Um, which could happen. He could have been fated to die. Yeah, he could have been fated to die. That, that could have happened. Perhaps, perhaps Hades and Persephone shouldn't have had a child. And so their, their, their cursed child, the offspring from their cursed union, was cursed by fate not to survive. And Hades was like, this is unacceptable. My son must live. I will do whatever I can to protect him. And so he makes the trade with the fate maybe where he chooses to give up some piece of himself I think I think he chooses to give his heart his kindness because everyone is kind of like 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 it doesn't sound like he has always been the way that he is um because like he and Persephone could have been like the mis and Nyx because we've already seen that chaos screwed up their relationship with Nyx so the three of them could be like you know we're kind of we don't get it. We don't get along with our families. Um, we, they don't let us be ourselves or they've pushed us into a situation or something or whatever, but they're, they're like the, like, what's the word? They're the ones that are like, they, not that they have are outcasts. They've taken them outside. They're estranged. 
they are estranged from their families. So Persephone comes down here with the other two and they are, they kind of like, okay, well, we're going to make our own family here. Found family. I assume that's an OT3 for a lot of people. Um, <laughs> because in, if any of this is correct, then that means that Hades as he was when Persephone knew him and Nyx, cause Nyx has kind of, it seems as though Nyx has affection for Hades that Hades, as we know him, does not deserve. Um, but it seems as though, and if my theory here is, has any ground in what's happening in the story, Hades was, was, was worth knowing then. Um, so they could be actually a, a charming and delightful OT3 in that case. Um, and, uh, and like, you know, like the god of death and the goddess of spring cannot, can, they can't make a child. You know, like the god of the dead and the god of, the goddess of re, the rebirth of spring. Incompatible. They can't coexist. That's why Zagreus's body has different parts He's got his green eye and his red eye. The two parts of his parents are incompatible with one another, perhaps. Don't confirm or deny, by the way, if you want to. Um, if you want to talk about this, please go to Discord and talk with them about it. This is me purely going off on my thing. Again, this might be completely out of nowhere. And I have realized that it might be embarrassing. I might have a... I might have a... I might have, uh, I might say things that are completely dumb or that I misremember something or whatever. Um, but yeah, please do not, if you, if you, if you confirm or deny or say anything spoilery, um, the mods will, uh, will delete, um, your, your message. Uh, so please do not. Um, but yeah, so like, we could say then that like the God of the dead and the goddess of of, 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 of the rebirth of springtime create, like they, they produce um, a cursed offspring and they're like, no, you can't tell us what to do. We are rebels, especially, especially, um, especially, uh, um, like Persephone clearly, Persephone clearly does not like being told what to do. She is stubborn and contrary as all gets, as all, as all can get. So like, it's a, it's, it's, uh, it's very, it would be very much like her to be like, they told us we can't do this, but like, who are they to tell us what we can't do? Let's make a baby. And Hades is like, okay, let's do this. And Nyx is like, you know, you're not supposed to do that, but I love you guys. So I'm going to try to make that happen or something. And then the baby is born See, look, we're fine. It's fine. We've avoided the curse. Wait, no, the baby is dead. This is not good. And Persephone is like, I can't deal with this. I'm leaving. Um, cause when a child dies, it is from what I have been told, um, frequently such an incredibly painful experience that even people who like had a very strong and healthy relationship beforehand. A lot of times, apparently, that there's, the relationship is so deeply affected by that experience that they that it, 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 the relationship ends. Um, so Persephone leaves to deal with her grief, um, and then, uh, and then, uh, Hades is like, I gotta, I gotta. There's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way. I'm the god of the dead. I'm the god of the dead. You can't kill my son. You can't take my son away from me. He can't die. I'm the god of the dead. I gotta do something about this. And Nyx perhaps is like, well, there might be a way. And Hades is like, whatever it is, I'll do it. And Nyx is like, okay, well, you're not gonna like this, but my daughter's the fates. Oh, I, we can do this thing. And Hades is like, okay. And Nyx is like, you're going to have to pay the price. And Hades is like, that's fine. And Nyx is like, and you can't tell him any of this. And Hades is like, that's fine. My son will be alive. And that's the most important thing. And maybe we'll go tell Persephone or something like that. Um, and Nyx is like, you can't do that. And I can't do that. That is against the rules. It's against the terms. We can't tell Persephone. And Hades is like, 
what the crap? Okay, so he so he signs away his 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 heart. This is the only explanation I can think of. He has lost his heart, and therefore he is cold, and unloving, and unfeeling, except right before death when you see that little glimpse of him. Um, and so he's like, no, this is gonna be fine. Unfortunately, the problem is. If you raise a child and you do not feel love towards that child, there's gonna be issues. And so Nyx is like, well, I'm here to kind of try to fix this because Nyx knows, she knows where Persephone is. She knows what Hades, like why Hades is the way he is. She knows all of the things that are happening, but she, she can't tell anyone because, because I guess then Zagreus would fall over dead and there would be consequences for everyone else too. And it would just be bad. So she's been maybe, quietly trying to figure out what she can do to double defy fate because of course he has death defiance he's already defied death once he'll just do it again no but it's a doubly doubly defying fate so she's trying to figure some stuff out but in the meantime Hades without his heart is just bad like it's not good it's not a good thing and everybody is worse off because of it. Everything is worse off for it. Why does he close off the underworld so nobody can come in within this idea of what's happening? I don't know. But if I thought about it, like maybe he doesn't want anyone to know that his son who's not supposed to be dead is alive. Maybe he, maybe he's genuinely just trying to keep Zagreus out or in. But I think, I don't know. I don't know. There's something, there's something there, and I'm not quite sure how that fits, because it ha I had been like, he's done something that he's not supposed to, to make Zagreus, I said, but actually, no, it's to, to bring Zagreus back to life, um, and he doesn't want anyone to find out, because nobody knows that Zagreus is Persephone's son. They don't even know that Persephone was with Hades, like, there's just, there's, uh, I don't know, I can't make this up. Um, so, like... I don't know. I think I think I've 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 unspooled myself to the end of this thread. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep throwing metaphors at you. Just just I'll just stack a whole heap of mixed metaphors. I'll just become a tangled pile of them. Um, but yeah, so I think that's about as far as I can take this one. And I didn't even need to fight the Minotaur. That's true. Well, it's good though because if I unspooled this thread and then I fought the Minotaur, we'd have problems because you need to have your ball of thread to make it through the labyrinth huh anyway that was a good one I feel good about this like I have no idea if that's actually what's happened in this game but I think that's a pretty good story <laughs> I think that's a pretty good story I would read that okay look I had this big old thing about what I thought the end of Final Fantasy 7 remake was going to be and it wasn't but then I'm like maybe I should take some of these ideas that I have that they don't use and maybe I should make them my own stories so how's this well we'll put a pin in this and if this winds up not being the plot of Hades the 2020 video game by Supergiant Games um, then it can become the story written by Lauren about not Greek gods maybe I don't know anyway <laughs> we'll see we'll see I'll make a note of this fortunately it's archived so that means that I can go back and be like, what was my idea? Because I clearly was wrong about the game, but I'll write that story. I don't know. But we'll see. I actually suspect that there are some pieces of what I just made up that have connections to what actually happens in the story. Just enough for you folks to be like, well, she does have a sense for story and characters. She just really went someplace weird with it. We'll see. That's true, Blue Glass. It will be a chapter. It will be the chapter. Lauren mini golfs the backstory of Hades and she feels like she's got it this time. I do feel good about this one. I have a good feeling about it. But anyway, so here we have Hades, who is now a tragic figure, by the way. He has given up his, in, in my in mini golf land, he has given up his heart and therefore his ability to feel love or really anything at all. Uh, so now that's turned him into being an abusive, controlling jerk pants. Um, so now he's trying to make Zagreus feel bad for Kerberos having to defend or, or stop him. 
course, I didn't even... Are those hearts? Are those hearts? No, I think those are triangles. Um, sorry. I got distracted by Kurt Rose's fancy bedding, which is, like, the only first thing I got. Um, yeah. Um, so he's... Anyway, he's being manipulative. And so-and-so is going to be sad or hurt if you leave. So-and-so is going to be hurt or sad if you don't do what I want you to do. When you can't control the person directly, control them indirectly. Very effective tactic. Don't do this, actually. Do not actually... No matter how effective, do not follow the tactics of abusers. Generally not a good idea. All right. And there it is again. Yep. The same attempt at guilting. All right. What do we got over here? Court music. Final expense. Oh, that's new, isn't it? Maybe. Death and I. I wonder if that's about Hades and Persephone. Or if that's the main theme of the game. I don't know. Painful ways when you die. Oh, that's just too. No. Here we go. Final expense payback mix. Payback mix. Oh my god. Amazing. Amazing. Art of Tartarus. Scourge of the Furies. Memorial Chaos. Final expense payback mix through Asphodel. A once lush meadow, meadows. Now we have washed flame. River, field of souls. King and the bull. The exalted Elysium. That's the bracer that I got from Achilles. I think. Hmm. Well, I'll keep an ear up for what I think that is. Gates of Hell. Swords. Thanatos. Hades is on the coast. Oh, yeah! Yeah, that's the one that, that Christian plays in. Okay. So now I'm beginning to understand how you get the di enough diamonds to do this. Oh! Oh, it's that! Oh, it's that! It's that! Wait, this one is yellow. Oh, they're all yellow. Okay, so it's the same as everything else. Okay, never mind. Oh, that's nice, actually. You got permanent life up. Yeah, so, like, all of these, actually, I think will make your runs tougher. Dark Thirst also gives monies. Um, hmm. Makes your runs, makes you better. Makes you better. Sorry, I, I probably said two conflicting things because I was, I was, I was voicing a thought without thinking about how the thought would actually sound when it was spoken. These things make you tougher so that you can do, so you can do better in a run. So you have another chance to re-roll if re-rolling is a concern, which I guess eventually might become a concern. But here, this lets you, like, um, have, like, stronger boons. You get more health every time you, you go in and get darkness. Like, this would be really good. Yeah, this one would affect gameplay. This one and this one would affect gameplay. These ones are just buying stuffs. This one, too. I'm curious about this. Pact of punishment is key to entering these challenges at the outer reaches. Yes. It's the only way you can get the number of diamonds to do that. Interesting. I wonder. I wonder. I'm going to sit on it and maybe get another diamond. Yeah. Yeah, I might, I might sit on that and get that because that seems interesting. But now I know I can get more diamonds. In theory. In theory, they will get harder and harder. Hello. What are you going to say, friend? Your never -ending toil in the underworld is proceeding well, my friend. I love how Orpheus is really... He's just so, like, optimistically pessimistic. Or maybe pessimistically optimistic. I'm not sure which of those, but he's definitely one of those. Like, he's always depressed. But he's going to be upbeat about it. <laughs> you know?
Oh man. Hold on. Here you go, friend. Why, this is absolutely splendid, Zagreus. Is this really for me? It's so very kind of you to think of me like this. Oh. I want you to have it, Orpheus. You've brightened up our lives down here more than you know. I only wish that you could see that. Zagreus was like, I wish to make my friend happy. Yay! My friend is slightly happier. Well, maybe less sad. Hi, Nyx. We have so much to talk about. We have so much to talk about. So much to talk about. You have met most of your Olympian relatives by now, child. Although the power of their blessings is fleeting here, they shall continue to support you as long as necessary. Thank you, Kath. Thank you for the gift subscription. Thank you. I appreciate that. I hope I hope Vi will enjoy that. And we'll have a mini golf um a mini golf emote for you to use shortly. <laughs> as long as necessary is interesting. And then what? When it is lo no longer necessary, then they will no longer support me, huh? They all still think I'm headed to join them on Olympus. That's why they're helping me. Mhm. Mm they are helping you because you are family. Family with whom they do not yet have a complicated past. Not yet, but they'll work on it. It's getting complicated pretty fast. <laughs> yes, that is true. We're proud of you, house contractor. House contractor, my friend. Hi, Dusa. <sighs> you little cutie. She knew that I got out. They talked about it. Nobody else is talking about it. But they they whispered to each other about it. She knows. Oh. Oh, uh, yes. I made it pretty far. On that account, you heard correctly, Dusa. But turns out I have unfinished business here, so I should be turning up like this from time to time. I <laughs> made it pretty far. Yes. <laughs> Just the, the like, the, like... It like takes him a minute to realize what she's talking about, and then she then he's like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep, that is correct." Like he still doesn't straight up say, "I made it to the surface and saw my mother." Um, I, I don't know that he's comfortable telling talking about that, um, but it seems like it might be nice for him to be able to say. Also, maybe this line is written so that it can be delivered not immediately after that. So it has to be a little bit more general than that. But, uh, but yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that's great. I mean, I hope it's great. <laughs> I mean, if you agree it's great, I also think it's great. Oh, my God. If that's okay? Oh, my God, do so. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It is. It's both okay and great. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. He is so cute. She's so cute. They are adorable. He's being adorable and supportive and friendly towards her. Yes. Hello, chef. I have a fish. Freshly caught, just for you, chef. Yay! Till next time. Oh, look at me! Look at me! I'm in here. I'm. 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 Oh, I can't smash your pottery. Well, that's all right. Hi, Dusa. I'm sort of off slender in the camera. Sorry, I cannot see where I am in the camera because I have my screens set up in a certain way that makes it harder. So, okay. Is that better? I tried having the camera far enough back that I won't be off camera at least. Oh man. Oh, I want to do this. I want to make, yeah, I think I want to do this. What else am I going to do with 33 keys folks? I might as well get some friendship juice and give it to my friends. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. What else am I going to do with keys? I can't think of anything. So I'm going to do it. All right. Prince, I don't know what to say. I Are you joking around with me? Oh my god, she's adorable. Oh, I am deadly serious, Dusa. Honest. It's for you. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. That is adorable. It is hilarious. And she is going to swoon out of her mind. 
both with the line and his delivery of the line. Like, that's adorable. She's gonna lose her mind. Oh, I've given her a whole bunch of these. Okay. I want to know the circumstances that led her here. She comes off as talkative. I think she has an easier time talking to everybody, but perhaps not Zagreus. She is a really big Medusa head. Like. Man. No, I'll figure out what I'll do with the keys or I won't. I may spend my keys badly, but whatever. That was worth it. I forgot I, I'd given her a bunch already. All right. So everything's good here. <clears throat> so. So I guess you put like a bazillion points in this, then you don't need these anymore and you use a key to undo this. <clears throat> and then you do this one or something. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll think on it. There's probably strategy. How oh, are we doing over here? Another prophecy. Oh, is there a new one? You see, like, I'm so close at getting a bunch of these. <laughs> Except I'm just not, not taking Poseidon. <clears throat> Black metal. See? It's a kind of music. Still don't have that one. Yes, I'm missing just one on a bunch of them. Just one on Chaos. Two. There's a whole bunch of the bow. I don't like the bow. The shield, I'll get there eventually. It's interesting, the shield of Chaos. But Chaos is only one of the... Hmm. Twin fists. Ah! Okay. The son of the god of the dead shall someday break free from the realm in which he was born using each of the infernal arms. All right, we'll try our best. Violent past ancient aspects. We'll get there. Harsh conditions. Ah, yes. Oh my god. That's so much. <laughs> I'll get this. Ah, interesting. Hmm. That is a lot of blood. Wow. I should probably just do this. I bet this one's not that hard to get. I should probably just do it. <clears throat> That's so many fish. At least one very rare report to Poseidon, maybe. All right. Well, let's see what happens out here. Skelly? Once again, Skelly is not here. <clears throat> I wonder if he's glitching out. Or what? I've gone farther than I can see from here. That is correct. You have indeed. I'm proud of you. <clears throat> Dear boy. There you go. Want a piece of me, boyo? He teleports in the same way that the uh, that the uh, shades do. I never noticed that. I just really want to level this up. Because that's so much more damage that you do when you're low on health, which is great. But I should probably try some of these others. <clears throat> um, hmm. Hades is very good. Man, I just, I just just speculated like crazy about what I think is going on behind the scenes. I'd have to actually use these. Oh, I can't do it anyway because I don't have whatever this last one is. I do play better at low health, so it's actually like this is, <clears throat> this one's actually a very good fit for me. This one's not as bad for me as you might think. Um, yeah, Mantimatter, oh, <clears throat> the one sentence summary of what I think is going on. 
Okay, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. this elevator pitch for Lauren's thing. And again, no confirming or denying, folks. Um, <clears throat> so we know that Zagreus... Uh, I mean, I assume, I assume I don't have to worry about spoiling anyone who's watching me play this game, right? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like... Crack my knuckles. I realize that that's not a sound people like. No, so so we know that Zagreus is a uh, he died as a baby, and his mom didn't know that he was alive, and that once upon a time Hades and Persephone actually seem to have loved each other, which means that something about Hades has to have been lovable, um, and even Nyx seems to have an affection for him that seems unwarranted based on the Hades that we know. Um, so, I have this idea that. Um, <clears throat> that Hades made a deal, made a bargain to save his son. Um, because I think that, his, I think that Zagreus was <clears throat> fated to die because the God of the dead and the goddess of springtime can't have a child. Like those two things cannot coexist in one. Um, so he was fated to die, but then, then Hades makes a deal and he, he gives up basically his heart to save his son. Which is why he is this cold, unfeeling jerk who does not seem to feel or even be aware of other people's feelings or anything like that or care about them at all. Um, and yet that seems to be different from perhaps how he always was. Um, and so I think Nyx was involved with some of the process of defying fate there. And, uh, and so there's a lot of things that can't be said and a lot of like, I think we're going to do some double fate defiance to try to fix everything that got broken. Because I think, I don't think everything that got broken is Hades' fault. And I don't think that everything that got broken is Zagreus' fault. But it's possible if we line the pieces up right, knocking over one of these problems will wind up knocking all the rest of the dominoes down. And I think possibly... Nyx is working on some of that on her end, and possibly Hermes is working on some of that on his end. So we'll see what happens. Who knows? But it's very exciting stuff. I don't even know if that counts as a compound sentence. That's just... Okay. Can I be... I have to practice an elevator pitch. I have to practice a short form of something or else it just... It just... A lot. I just say a lot. So I have to practice what the condensed version of a thing is before I can then... Say so I can be concise, but it doesn't come naturally to me. I really want, I really want the skull earring to be max level, so that I know exactly how much damage I'm gonna do. Um, I should try some of these others. I'll wait until I get this, and then I'll do that. How does that sound? <laughs> Maybe so. Blue glass. If I use enough, if you use enough semicolons, you never have to use a period. <laughs> no, that's fair, young anti matter. Um I I I I just I but that was that was that was pretty concise compared to the the original as I was formulating it. Alright. So yeah. Aspect of Achilles, aspect of Hades. Spin attack becomes punishing sweet. A huge spin attack. Which dad does. I wonder if I get laser beams. If I'm super cool enough with it. Punishing bonus damage. I just don't spin. But I guess I should learn to spin. So this is throw your spear. This is spin your spear. Oh, did I blue glass? Then I don't even have to be dependent on semicolons. Amazing. I do like creating long sentences. All right. Oh, highest heat. I get that now. When the fates decide. I'm really curious about some of these. Now I feel kind of... Now, now I view Hades as a tragic figure. I like that. That's interesting. All right. Well, we're not going to do that yet. Okay, hold on. Buttons. Hit. Other hit. Blob. Nothing. How about that? Nice. Oops. Oh, shoot. That's 
what that I'm was not the right about. button that I meant to press, but that's okay. Don't forget you doing me a silent like this. Cross my heart. That's okay. I love him, so we're good. Yeah. No need to thank me, mate. But don't you dare forget it, or I'll attack you repeatedly <laughs> and without mercy. <laughs> that's really cute. That's really cute. Fortunately, there's nothing lost if you give friendship juice to somebody, except that you don't give it to somebody else as soon. That's fine. I forgot my buttons. I was trying to remember what my buttons were. There must be some game that I've played recently where you hit that button and it does something, but I don't remember what it was. Attack you repeatedly without mercy. Oh man. I'm giving them so many hearts. That there we go. <laughs> These little fake death screams. I have beat dad exactly once. Never felt so alive. And then I then I died to the um to the uh, champions. And then last time, last time I fought Charon, <laughs> but I beat him. And then I died to the Medusa heads. <laughs> you know, no big deal. <laughs> oh, am I out of juice now? I guess I am. Well, eh, I'll get more juice. I'll get more juice. Do we want to try one of these? If you dare. That's only 20%. Wow. That did a lot. Prices are higher, but I have my discount card, so... That's actually not that much different than what I've been used to paying. Ah, uh, but I've already done this. Okay, never mind. No, we won't do this. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Don't stick around on my account, boyo. <laughs> all right skelly oh man well good luck with your exam on wednesday yeah i'm 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 trying to cram and work and stuff too so like <laughs> it's been a it's it's a it's a crazy busy time for everybody i think the fight cost of fighting caron was 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 it was high i don't know if it was too high i did manage to win eventually i just didn't get hit that's Okay, I guess we're gonna go for it. I guess we're just gonna. Well, yeah, yeah, we're just gonna go for it. Not this time. No. This is where you belong. You feel out of place. Where would you even go? What would you have me do? Your place is here. There's a word that's highlighted in all of those. My mother. I mean, he does take after her more. Although, if my theory is correct and Hades has not always been the way he is, perhaps perhaps he had more in common with Zagreus once upon a time. Alright, I don't think we usually start with this. I think we usually start with an Olympian. This is interesting. Uh huh. Faded choice, so I have to choose it. <sighs> I had four grows stronger. Four dashes, that's how I managed to uh That's how I managed to uh defeat Caron. Otherwise I don't think I could have done it. Although I guess maybe I would have had something else that would have been how I did it. Alright, well unfortunately I depend on my dashing to not get hit, which again is the thing that I do. Okay, see if I can remember how to play this. Alright. It is really cool looking.
Yeah, where's the other bad guy? There you are. I need to figure out... I need to figure out how to actually play these mechanics. Am I sizzling? What did I do to sizzle? I don't remember taking a sizzling option, but apparently I sizzle. So that's cool. Cruel or to pots, Link or Zagreus? Oh, I don't know. That's it. Oh, that was not good. Mine now. <laughs> Sounds like you're feeling a little bit better, Zagreus. Oh, look, we're gonna go. We're gonna go talk to Grandma. Still don't know she's Grandma. I know she's Grandma. Link, I think, has more pots, but I don't know. Okay, there's so many buttons, folks. I don't know that I can. I'm having some trouble keeping up with them. Okay. Okay. All right. Oops, that's not helping. Where did you go? There you are. All right. Okay, so this one throws and then you can either go to it or you can pull it back. And then there's this, there's, oh, that's not dash. Why do I think that's dash? That's not dash, this is dash. I'm getting, I'm trying to hit another button instead of dash. This is not good. We've introduced too many buttons. My brain cannot handle. And it has lost dash. This is not good. <laughs> I keep trying to hit the R2 button for dash. Is that what you're supposed to do, Lauren? So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to try to make sure that that doesn't get wired in my brain like that. All right, Grandma, what's up? Motherhood's a curse, young Zagreus. Be thankful you're immune. You sprang from Nyx herself, or so I hear. I sprang from Thea, whoever she was. And I once bore a child, too. Long gone. Her mother's work. Isn't it such a waste? Demeter is... <clears throat> She's really dramatic. And very, very self pitying and she has reason for grief and I wouldn't fault her for it except the way that she then re reacts to other people's grief um you know like when you start being cruel to other people and dismissing other people's loss and grief um then I have some objections um but yes no she is heartbroken and so she's she's like she, this is this is this is this is bitter. This is painful. This is hurting. And the fact that she like they're 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 hinting and they're teasing in case you don't know the mythology. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember who Thea is. But this, this whole lake, everyone thinks that he's Nyx's son. So interesting. That's going to be awkward. Oh, I love Crystal Beam. I love Crystal Beam. Let's do that. That gives me one fewer button to have to worry about because I just fling it and let it do its thing. All right. Oh, that's cold. I should probably take an attack one soon, though. Okay, the bottom one. The bottom one is attack. Or is it stage? Thea was one of the titans. Okay. Ah, nothing here. Not, not even a little scared. Okay, I'm gonna try. All these eyeballs. I guess we'll go get some more darkness. I'm gonna try to learn this. Hello. Oops. 
Did I just run into that? No, I didn't. I couldn't tell if that was a voice or the, um, the, uh, the theremin, but it was in fact the theremin. They do, they, they are kind of voice-like. Did you hear a Halloween concert where my friend played theremin for us? Were, were you there for it, folks? I sh should I put that up on YouTube? Should I put the concert on YouTube? And if so, sh I guess I could put the whole thing instead of the, uh, doing it by sections. I could do that. Okay, maybe I'll do that. All right. Oh, hello, Dionysus. Hi, friend. Hello, cousin. Oh, Zang, I bet you could use a little pick-me-up right about now, and I am here to offer you whichever one you please. Okay, Dionysus is our dealer here. Ooh. Oh, yeah, let's do this one. Poke me right up. <laughs> yes, indeed. I don't even need this, but I guess I'll drink it. You're getting out without a drink. <laughs> I guess that's true. All right, I will YouTube the concert. All right, YouTube folks, you'll you can you can thank these lovely folks for the concert appearing on your on your screen. Oh man, I guess I should probably I guess I should probably go visit Uncle Poseidon. I have something to say. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I know blue glass, but I think it's still up. It gives you, they give you a few weeks and then they give you a warning. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. You again, huh? Oops, wrong way. Oh jeez, you hit me! How dare you hit me? I don't want to get hit by you. You get you get hit by me. That's that's how we do this. No. Who's laughing now? <laughs> oh, Zagreus, honey. This calls a feast. I'm turning up sooner or later. Hear me, nephew. So make room for one more blessing and let's go. Amazing. All right, Poseidon. I guess Poseidon and Dionysus. Do they do seem like they would be good drinking buddies for each other? Ooh. Uh. I mean, I don't need health right now. Like, this is epic, which I assume means that it's gonna. Oh, I guess I could use some health. Just get a bunch of stuff. Why not? Five second rule. That was five seconds, right? <laughs> oh, that did not give as much as I was hoping, but that's fine. That's fine. We're just gonna go here. Is that blood? Is that blood splattered on the floor? Whose blood is that? Mine? I mean, I guess they I do have red blood. Is what happens when you combine the... I still keep feeling like Zagreus is going to have to give up his immortality to live with Persephone. Like, that's how these kinds of stories go. Alright, I can just do that a whole bunch. Yay, friendship juice. But it looked like a splatter. Like, it looked like a blood splatter, honestly. And they do talk about Zagreus having red blood. Something I need. Nah, it's all good. We're good, we're good. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? A key or a darkness? Uh, probably a darkness I'll take. That sounds good. Let's do it. Bidding, bing, bing, bidding, bing, bidding, bing, bing. I'll be leaving shortly. That's right. Take out some witches first while we're at it, though. Holy crap! Oh, I like this move. I... 
Oh jeez! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! You don't! Oh God! The reach on this is incredible! Oh my God! Look what I found! Wow! Wow! That is some reach! Oh my God! I should probably learn how to use the rest of the abilities of the spear, though. Maybe. 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 I could probably use some health right now, actually. Let's do this. Whatever, Dad. Dad's on the loudspeaker. Got their attention. <laughs> Runaway son on aisle three. Oh jeez! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Did I run into something there? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. Just, just don't get hit. You lived through all of that. Shut up, Dad. Of course I did. You take more than that to put me under. Ha! Yes, uh, it, it, I was definitely getting supermarket prices. Woo! Yes, 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 yes! Friend again! That's two runs in a row with Sisyphus. Prince said. Hey, sir. Oh He's so polite. Oh my god, I love them. I love them. Oh my goodness. You are both such goods. They're just so great. Sisyphus, how can you stand it being here like this? You always seem in such good spirits, though. He does indeed. If you push old Baldy here sufficient times, and you might get a different outlook on things too. With the Furies all preoccupied and with my running into you from time to time, I'm positively doing great lately. I like to take what pleasures I can get. He's like, I'm getting beaten up less, and I get to hang out with a friend. So this could be worse. That's really cute. Oh, Sisyphus. He is an enormous fellow. That I can do. Oh my goodness. By my birthright. Is it truly your birthright, though? All right. Well, thank you, Sisyphus. Take care, friend. Until next time, right? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Hi, Caron. Oh, you're not angry with me, are you, Caron? I was about to say that. <laughs> you're not mad, are you? <sighs> I mean, it's the obvious thing to say here. I'm gonna smash his pottery. Oh my god! I'm so glad that I took it instead of wondering what would happen if I took it. Though that was really exciting. How much money do I have? Oh, I have a lot. Hey, good for me. All right, Caron, will you forgive me? Hey, Caron, you're not angry with me after we had it out last time, are you? I mean, I figured since you gave me one of your loyalty cards, must mean everything's fine, but I'm just making sure. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. He's trying to figure out. Zagreus is used to trying to talk his way out of things, so he's trying to think on his feet. He's like, how do I, how do I smooth this over? Uh, well, that is a relief. <laughs> All right. All right, Zag. Hey, it's me again. If you're quite done with shopping, Zagreus, what say we cut straight to the chase from here? <laughs> hey, it's me again. Amazing. She's my favorite. I love her so much. Could give him some friendship juice to try to make up for it. I mean, I'm gonna take this. I'm always gonna take Artemis's aid. It's really good. I just get guide my hand. distracted by the music. Always a pleasure, Caron. I mean, I might as well. Delicious. <laughs> We're gonna do that. It makes a big difference. I choose to think he serves a purpose higher even than the master's own. Indeed. I'm really curious. Really curious. What is he up to? Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Supposedly it is also rich in something known as antioxidants, whatever those are, and whatever they are for. Look, I am a warrior, not a nutritionist. Oh my god. You are all dorks. All of you. Alright, let's go do this. <clears throat> let's go fight a boss. Alright, who's gonna be? Who's gonna be Meg? She's gonna whine at me. We'll see. Oh, yep. No. Okay. May I help you with something, Zagreus? <sighs> if only. Now that you mention it, you can, Meg. I was wondering, what was Father carrying on with you about back home? This must have been a few runs ago. Eavesdropping again. If you must know, my job performance is under review. Though I'm sure this job's about to go just fine. What are you gonna do, Hades? Fire the Furies? Oh my god, guitars. Oh, shoot. Well, at least... Oops. Jeez, no, no, I, I refuse to actually. No, no. I was like, I refuse to lose a life to Meg at this point in the game. <sighs> you did indeed, friend. <sighs> Take that, Meg. Job performance is under review. Yeah, but, but seriously, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna fire death? Is he gonna fire the Furies? And and what then? And what then? Because I guess he wants them to keep Zagreus from getting to the surface because then he'll die. What is she stepping on? Oh, she's ste stepping on someone. She's stepping on some souls and there's a lot of people who want that to be them. Got it. Yeah, that was really fast. This weapon does a lot of damage. A lot of damage from a distance. So you don't get hit. Oh yes. Oh that's right. I Getting to lock you up in Tartarus. Whatever, Dad. Like hello. Like like you could. I'd just get out. Take that. Yeah, so I guess I guess I guess this is I guess we've been doing massive amounts of drunkenness. Yes, there's a statue of Meg literally stepping on people. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's what they meant. That's what they got. <laughs> How are we doing over here? Which one? Um, eh, eh. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it for now. <laughs> oh my god, Blues, that's really funny. Seeds expectations in every category except the stop Zagreus category. <laughs> okay, he's feeling more like himself now. I'm going to get through all this. Like he's beginning to he's beginning to like make snarky comments a bit more often. So he's coming back to himself. Oh, you! Oh my god. That's a lot of damage. Oh man, I was still too close. Well, it's okay. Took him out. I should probably learn the spinny thing at some point, but why would you spin when you can just do this instead? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, god. Uh, th yeah. I mean, this is really good. This is also really good. I just remember I have the crystal beam. Spinning looks cool, but it's too slow. Okay, we're just gonna do that. Hangover's really good right now. Wait, hold on. Oh, it's you. I don't need money. You can keep your useless money, Dad. Wow. My dash is really small. On that subject, do I need health? Or do I need to go really fast? Onward. 
gotta go fast. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh my god. It's so good. Oh, hey, look, there's a chaos. Do I want to do chaos here? I mean, I want to, but will I? That seems a little dangerous at this point. Oh my god. I forgot about my laser, but I eventually remembered it. Hello, cousin. Another message here. It says one small spoon dried oregano, two spoons extra virgin olive oil, one large onion, minced, a dash of salt to taste. Oh, wait, this isn't for you. Though you should try it sometime if you ever make it out. Okay. Absolutely. I would absolutely cook an onion with some oregano and olive oil. That sounds tasty. After you dash. Yeah, sure. That sounds good. Ooh, that. I really want to go. I really want to go. S oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I really want to do it, but then I won't have like any health. And then I'll have a chaos boon. But I want to do it. 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 You know, this isn't going to be... I think I might just go shopping. How much money have I got still? I got some good monies. Um... Because I don't remember with the god fights. Oh, but then I would get more boons. How many boons have I got? I could buy boons. Oh, look at that, there's monies. Did I get the money? Did I break the money? Well, uh, let's see. Yeah, Poseidon and I just, I really like both of them. I do like... Okay, I guess we'll give it a try. We'll try Boons. <clears throat> Oh look, there's a fishing too. What's well, okay? I'll make besides me happy. To like this. I mean, I have my favorite. That definitely was a good decision, man. Oh man, <laughs> this is what I haven't had before, so we're gonna take it. Peer pressure, peer pressure. Oh good, prophecy. You think you've been trapped in hell without my help or my to understand? You made a big mistake there, little Hades. Just you watch. All right, Poseidon. No, he won't. Oops. I'm low on health. Jeez. <sighs> Phew. Well, we did it. <laughs> we did it, folks. <laughs> a little close call, but we did it. I, a show of strength like that deserves a commendation, I should think. Although for next time, no, my favor's not a thing to trifle with. Of course, of course. Yes, Little Hades is a very cute uh, uncle nickname. Uh, I could use some health. <laughs> really? Oh, uh, man, this is not originally... I mean, I, could, I really could use this, but right now I don't want to die. So hopefully this will give me some things to not die. Yeah. Slightly less dead. Oh, okay, look at that. Look at that. Finally, finally, our Eurydice. All right, we're going to go. Hold on, we're going to fish. We're going to fish, and then we're going to go to Eurydice. Okay, hold on. You ready? You ready for fishing? Also, I don't know if I'm still on screen. Um, so, report back if I'm not. Oh, no! Oh, well. 
I tried. All right, let us go to Eurydice. See, it would make sense for Hades to have made a deal and have the rules um, and have that be why everyone can't tell me things because they've set that up. Obviously, there's the case of Orpheus and Eurydice to show what happens when you don't follow the rules of your contract. Um, but whatever is going on with, um, with Achilles and Patroclus, is that his name? Um, is that how I pronounce it? Ah, um, but there's clearly, there's clearly something that's gone on there, so, uh, I, uh, you know. Atlas can rest his weary bones. Hey there, huh? Hi. So what do you think? Pretty good tune, right? Don't know how come everybody doesn't sing. Lightens the mood, passes the time. What's not to like? I love singing. Singing is one of my favorite things in the entire world. I just really like having a voice. <laughs> I really love singing. I love talking, but I really love singing more than I love the flute. So, <clears throat> okay, well, let's see if we can get to the what's its butt and the Hydra and then we'll stop, okay? You know, her singing is just gorgeous. Her song is beautiful. So it's not Patroclus because they said it differently. They said like Patroclus or something like that. Um, so, uh, cause I was surprised. We'll see if we can beat Asphodel, but hopefully we will. At this point, I think it seems fairly likely we will. Um, but you know, singing feels like one of like the most like holy or sacred type of experiences that you can have. And I'm not even a religious person, but it's just like magic. I'm a big fan of it. All right. It's a beautiful song. Even though you're angry with him. Orpheus, I knew I mean, he was going to talk about still. Orpheus. Of course he's going to. Of course he's going to mention Orpheus. I mean, she gave him a perfect opening. She's going to get so mad, Zagreus, but he's not He's going to stop. Oh, it's not Orpheus' the song. You kidding me? This one's all mine. He always did like going on about how I'm his muse. Well, that's because I wrote half his songs <laughs> for him. But he didn't mention that, did he? That's true. She is a muse. Well, not exactly in those words, but Orpheus can be a little hard to pass. <laughs> Sorry, this is like, I don't know what he's saying at the time. He can be a little hard to tolerate. A quality I hope isn't going to rub off on any of his mates. I should get back to practicing. See ya. Yeah. She's so mad. Do you remember I used to come through here and I didn't have... I didn't have enough boons to do the four boon thing. Do you remember that? That used to be the case. You got it. Thanks so much. Those are some good ones. Oh man, it's such a beautiful song. I need to finish my cover of it at some point. I will. All right, let's do it. What are you this time? Oh, you! Is she dead already? Oh no, there's fire. Farewell, gigantic Gorgon head. <laughs> He's so polite. Amazing. I hate the witches. The witches are the worst one for me. Did I not take any damage? Amazing. Olympus, I accept this message. Amazing. Yep. 
Yep, we're gonna take this. We're so gonna take this. I don't take lots of damage, but when I do, I will turn it right back. Oh. Artemis, you ready? Artemis is like, oh hell yeah. Artemis is not good for crowd control, but she sure is good for bosses. Oops! Wow. That's a really quick, quick charge for the call. Oops! Oops! I need to be really careful, actually. I don't want to... I can't run as fast as I think I can. Yeah, that's a blow yourselves up. That's fine. Come here, come here, come here, come here, yeah. Oh no, oh no. Okay. You I let me, Artemis. I let the lava do some of the damage for me. <laughs> Thanks, lava. All right, Artemis, my friend. I hope that once you make it to Olympus, we'll go hunting sometime, you and I, you know? I like being on my own and all, but it's been nice talking to you like this. Artemis doesn't pick friends. She doesn't make friends easily. She doesn't like people easily. Like, I mean, she's like fine with them, but she doesn't like actually like want to be around people. Like being around people is very low on her list of things. So it's a huge praise, but he's a special and wonderful boy. And I'm so glad they're friends. <clears throat> amazing 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 that's really good okay let's 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 buy some healing Am I about to fight the boss boss? Am I about to fight the boss boss? Oh no, I'm gonna go shopping. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go actual shopping. Nope, 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 nope. We're gonna go actual shopping. Let's. We're gonna go shopping. They're like, by the way, Lauren, you're low on health. I'm like, yes, I noticed. Okay, we'll buy you. A little bit of health. And I guess we'll buy some more artifacts. <laughs> Alright, well, this could go better, but it could go worse. This is the thing that I'm doing constantly. This is even more. La la. We're gonna do this. All right, let's do it, folks. Let's see how it goes. A little bit low on health, but that's fine. Get back we'll in the magma, and no one gets hurt. Whatever, Zagreus. That's not true, and you know it. Oh, you're dumb children already. Oh my god, I do so much damage. Where even is the other one? Oh, there aren't any more. I killed them all already. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Oh my god. How many of these are there? Oops, I went the wrong way. Oh jeez, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. <laughs> oh my 
god. Oh my god. I did pretty well there, didn't I? <laughs> amazing, amazing. What did I get? I got something. There was something, but it gave me a something. I don't remember what it was. Bone Hydra. Okay, I just want it. Part of me just wants to like plunge on ahead. <laughs> you know? I think part of me wants to just keep going. <laughs> Before I forget how to play the game. Shut up, Dad. Go no further, boy. I'm warning you. Or else what? Or, or else. else... Father. <sighs> oh, that's my good boy. That's my good boy. Uh. All right, let's do it. How much money do I have? Nah, we'll sit, we'll sit on it just in case. I'm feeling really good about this whole scullying thing. Like, especially because when I take damage, I then like my god gauge goes up by 60%. All right, we're just gonna do it, folks. We're just gonna do it. Let's just, let's just go do it. Let's see what happens. All right, Elysium. You're gonna throw your worst at me. I'll try not to die. Isn't that synthy synth synth? Nothing to say. All right, that's all right. Gotta just do some property damage, you know, no big deal. I mean, if I, the thing is if I go for money here, then I can maybe buy something in sticks if I make it to sticks, which I feel pretty decent about. However, Instead, I'm just gonna kill some enemies here. Jeez. Where are you? Jeez, oh my god, I do so much damage. Where, where even are you? You get back here, you jerk. Okay, take out the take out the witches. That'll make this easier. Oh my god, this is really good, folks. Oh my god. This will be like every time you get hit practically. This does so much damage though. Like all of these are really good. All of these are so good that like any of them. <clears throat> all right, hangover doing more damage. That's great. I'm, I'm honestly pretty dependent on that. I need to remember that I have these. I use this more often than I use this. This will be very useful in bosses. So, hmm. Hmm. An extra two damage a second to every single enemy that I'm attacking for every stack of hangover. That's pretty good. Oh wow, effect can stack up to five times. So that's that's taking an extra ten damage every every second. Oh, wow. That seems like a lot of damage that I don't have to do. I really like things with passive damage. Things that inflict that inflict passive damage are great for me because I'm not good at hitting on command, but I'm good at running. <clears throat> There you are. Oh my god. Oh jeez, no, 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 no. Oh, there goes my damage. Oh my god, that little jerk. That little jerk. All right, 
Does that have word on the ground? No, it doesn't. Just looking to see if there's any money because I'll need it to buy stuff from Caron. Although I do have a discount card, so that should make that whole area slightly less bad. Oh man, hammer. Hammer, sure. But what if the hammer changes my gameplay? Maybe it won't change my gameplay. Hopefully it won't change my gameplay. Well, I won't get rid of what I currently got anyway. Oh jeez. No, I'm rearming. Nope. Won't do, won't do, won't do. Where are you? Oh jeez. Where are you? I can make my own crystals. Oh my god. Oh jeez, it regenerated. Alright. Well, I could have taken less damage, but oh good, my soul earring ranked up. Okay. <laughs> Just in case. I mean, I'll get this. I never do spin attacks, so I will just, uh, I'll do this. Maybe I'll start Let's spin attacking. Rafa. You never know. It could happen. I could spin attack. I'm actually kind of relieved. Okay, so we've got shopping or monies. Uh, let's go shopping. Casey's got like another boon or something for me. Let's do it. Oh, look at that. More monies. <laughs> All right. I don't really, I guess I could use some healing. Well, so we got. Uh, sure. Should come in useful. I don't really use this. Uh, health boons and palms. Um. Uh, like part of me wants to just do this for healing, but I don't use my special. It's fine. I could. Use this. You could indeed. Um, let's see how much have I got. Uh, now nah, I'll sit on it. All right. I'm gonna go with Hermes. I like Hermes. There's the enemy. Don't keep me waiting. Oops. Don't get don't take damage, Lauren. Okay, let's get this. Because I'm probably gonna want this. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Oops! Oh no, it hit me. Get out of there, get out of there. Okay. So serious. Do I have bonus move speed? I think I do actually. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. We'll get that. Prophecy fulfilled. We are knocking out prophecy after prophecy after prophecy here. What have I got? <sighs> sure, probably, probably regret that. Okay, so I can either fight a boss with Artemis, 
What did you got? Oh. Eh, uh, sure. I'll probably regret this. My coffers are not yours for pillaging. Oh yeah, they are. Shut up, Dad. Idiot. Are you calling me an idiot? Disappointing for these so-called champions. <laughs> oh my god. That went really well. Um, alright. I guess we're gonna go fight a boss. Is it gonna be serious? Hi, friend! You choose to challenge me again. Not many in Elysium so dare. Then I accept. Whatever, we're friends and this is how we hang out. Wait, I never challenged you. The entrance to your chamber looks like any other pathway in Elysium. I have no quarrel with you, sir. He just wants to be friends. Zagreus, I love you. To step into my chamber is to challenge me. <sighs> it is a custom since the time I lived and breathed in darkness. Ah. I will send you into such a darkness now. I thought we were friends, Asterius. Oops! Don't don't take damage, Lauren. He wasn't going to take damage. Oops. I want to just decide that I'm not going to take damage. Oops. Unfortunately, I've taken damage. Oops. <laughs> Thanks, Artemis. <laughs> she, she took care of business for me. Uh, Artemis, I'm sorry, but you are like. At the risk I'm... of incurring your wrath, Lady Artemis, I hope you will accept this from me and see that my gratitude for all you have done for me is genuine. I can't not, after all she has done for me. What do you know? Another gift of nectar. That's quite thoughtful of you, Zagreus. Normally don't care much for the stuff, but every now and then, I mean, why not? She doesn't like getting drunk. All right. I think that you can just like keep giving them hearts infinitely. It's kind of what I feel, but whatever. In the name of Hades. I'm probably gonna regret not being able to give that to somebody else later, but whatever. Uh, critical effect deals even more damage to armor. Any damage you deal has a chance to be critical. We're gonna go with this. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god, Chrono's having a good time. Start quoting song lyrics. Good sign. I can slay you all. Oh my god. Okay, Zagreus, honey. I know that you're a cocky little boy. But, uh... Oh, those are mine. Never mind. I thought that those were the enemies. Oh, shoot. I took damage. That's the worst. Oh, is somebody still alive? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh my god, oh my god, I took damage again. Oh no, I'm taking so much damage! How dare you take da- how dare you damage me? Unacceptable. <sighs> Okay. Oh man. I, I want to find Pat because I want to find Pat for story reasons, but I don't actually need to run into him. So. <clears throat> Alright. Oops! No, get out of there! Oops! No, stop, 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 stop! I hate you, I hate you! Have I mentioned that I hate you? Okay, well just in case I hadn't. Oh, goodness. Oh my god, okay, Lauren, hold it together, hold it together. There we go. That'll do! Alright. 
A little bit of health? Hmm, let's see here. <clears throat> nope. I'm really good at button mashing. I'm not good at aiming. So what is the cool looking green thing? Okay, so I've got health or shopping. Health or shopping. Um, shopping might have... Actually, I've got 200 health. I think I can go ahead and just go shopping. <clears throat> All right. Oh, look at that. We got Dionysus and some life. Cool. Sorry, I gotta smash your pottery. You know how it goes. This one is great. <clears throat> but this is going to be useful on everything, even when there aren't three enemies out. <clears throat> so we're going to do that. We're going to do this. Do I, oh, also close to max health. Do I want the palm? They're going to be, it's going to be cheaper to get here than it is out there. So yes. Um, <clears throat> do I want to just do more damage in general? Do I want to... Do I want to do super big, super big Artemis damage? This, this, this as it is makes a big difference. Hmm. Um. Hmm. All right. Do I want to do more regular damage all the time? Or do I want to have more, oh crap, it's Artemis. We're going to do more, oh crap, it's Artemis. I don't run the numbers very well, though. Hi. Gentlemen, upon my word, the fiend again darkens these halls. <sighs> Alas, Asterius, it seems I was mistaken and he hasn't learned his lesson after all. The way he talks is as though he's speaking to the audience. And what's this lesson that I ought to have learned? Is it to always slay you first, since you're so damn insufferable all the time? I never slay him first. Your lesson, monster, is to never, ever take up arms against those favored by the gods themselves. You shall never see the light of day as I once did. Uh, no offense, Asterius. No, I don't have anything on the friendly shade. I didn't think about it being somebody that I might know. Oops. Let's get some point there. Yeah, let's let's get some drunkenness happening here. Oop. Oops. Oop. Goodness gracious. Did they level up? Oh my god! Have you anything to say for yourself, Steven, before I slay you once again? <laughs> Oops! Hold on, I need to get my blobs. When did I get three blobs? Have I always had three blobs? Oh jeez, oh jeez, that's not good. I don't think I want that. Oh, Jesus, sorry. Okay, Lauren, okay, Lauren, try to try to be defensive. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, no! No! Are they cheering for me? 
Are they cheering for me? Wow. I think they're cheering for me. To my greatest fan. Hi, friend. Yeah, having the thing where you get health from darkness is really good. Wow! Wow! That was really satisfying. Oh my god. Also, I think this is the first time they've ever cheered for me. I think because I was... I think I was... I was extraordinarily victorious. Alright, let's, uh, let's do this. Enjoy the rest of your existence, Shades. Oh my god. Zagreus, I love you. Hurry Whatever, Dad. And I shall see you outside. See, notice now he's like got confidence in me. He's like, you're gonna make it through sticks. That's great. <clears throat> Amazing. I don't have any money. Fortunately, I don't. Oh, yeah, I don't need it. So we're good. Uh, we're just gonna keep going with with Meg's Meg's earring. I can do this again. Cause Meg's earring is really good, as it turns out, for Lauren. <clears throat> <sighs> Alright, we're good. Look at that, money. Alright, puppy. Alright, let us go do this. I have absolutely no money. But that's okay. Let's see, what can I not afford? That's on offer here. Okay. Yes, I see. Oh, 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 what is this? Not far from here, the dead begin their journey to their final resting place down in the depths below. And so the river boatman Charon often passes through. Hmm. Generous selection of his wares. Mm. <clears throat> so if we wind up getting some money, we'll get some of this stuff. Sounds good. Hi, puppy. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Technically following the letter of the law, but not the spirit. All right, where shall we go? We're going to start with not bosses. We're going to go with palms. That sounds Maybe good. And then we'll get money. Hi. Oops, get out of there, get out of there. I forget how much I don't like sticks. Like... It's a little bit claustrophobic. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, no, no. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. I hate it, 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 I hate it. That's one way of doing it, I suppose. All right. Let's do this, folks. That is one, that, okay. All right, all right. I'm sure there's something to be said about the proximity to, to mortals. Oh, hey, hello, you. These things, by the way, are the reason why I can take out, they're the reason why I learned to fight Hades stage two is because I had just been using these guys. Oops! Trap kill, nice. Okay. Oh. Oop! No, 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 no. Sorry, I hit the wrong thing, didn't I? Where's the thing? Where's the thing? Where's the thing? There it is. Sorry. I can't remember which button is that. Which button is used? No, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no! I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here. Calm down, Lauren. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, I'm not poisoned. I'm not poisoned. We're all right. Okay. God's grant me strength. Critical. Hangover. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Because that's going to make it a little bit, I think, a little bit easier. Trash. Oh, there were two of those, huh? Okay. 
Oh. Well, I could use some healing, but you know, we're gonna do what we can. We're gonna do what we can without it. Not a lot of money. Okay. Oh, hit the right button. Well, no, because I was I was trying to hit RT, uh, which was not the right button. Uh, let's go ahead and bet on a cousin, shall we? Hey, Matt. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Get out of there. Get out of there before they before they can poison you. Tasty. Did not get out of there before they could poison me. Poison is really scary and I just don't want it to happen. Oh my god, there's so many of these little guys. I guess I'm at least probably doing bonus damage for being, yeah, Meg's thing is active. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Well, that took care of business. Alright. Cool. Sorry, folks. Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Get out of there, get out of there. Oh my god, there's so many explosions. Why are there so many explosions? Stop! There's too many explosions. Oh, it's because of you. Oh my god. just got but I got something. Oh the Seder cult cultists. It's a dark moment movements of the Seder vermin worshippers residing in the temple gateway at the surface of this realm. What they must want is yet unclear but their hatred for Lord Hades is not. Efforts to exterminate the goat-faced fiends have proven unsuccessful to this point for they reside frustratingly beyond even the master's influence. What can they do in turn except to desecrate the master's halls? Yet if the master is uneasy there must be a cause. Something big is happening behind the scenes with these guys and I don't like it I do not like it because they seem like it's like oh it's just more things to fight but it's not just more things to fight you know like they um huh what is that it looks like a wolf they like like the, the fact that they reinforce like the grossness and horribleness of like these enemies are 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 they're they're dying horribly like to really reinforce that this is different from anything else Olympus, I accept this message oh man oh this will get me through here this is um this is useful in general but this I think is the one to do we'll see if this works right now it's interesting all of these are like your super low on health thing, so I suspect that there's some flagging involved. You know? Alright, so all I have to do is survive this next encounter, somehow, and uh, be fine. A moment's rest. Alright. Oh, actually, no, we're gonna, you know what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna buy a little bit of health. Thank you, mate. Alright, that's better. Is there any difference between these two palms? They look the same. Just one of them is more expensive than the other. Uh, let's do... I'm gonna take this one. Good enough to eat. Oh, I need to remember that I have something on my special. Do that. Stronger still. Okay. Hold on, we're gonna find out. I guess we'll get some money. And then we'll go to Artemis. Let's see what's in here. Oh man. I wanna write Hades fanfic. Phew! Alright, okay, that helped. That helped a lot, actually. Okay. This makes me this boon makes me feel better. Um Phew! 
Oh my god, I love you, Zagreus. I love... Why do these vermin carry coin? Okay. Cool. Alright, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Oh no, I took damage. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez. That thing just like erupts. That thing just spouts poison, doesn't it? My goodness. That's pretty awful. Yikes. Not a fan. Not a fan. They kind of make me go all the way, aren't they? So the skull earring activates. Alright. How much money have I got? Okay, can buy another palm. Or I can save up and try to get one of these others. Let's see what happens. All right, well, we're going to go with... I really like Artemis. Demeter is really good, and I'll get a bonus for having more of her, though. Oops, wrong one. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I know I don't want to fight the King Vermin. I'm going to have to fight the King Vermin, aren't I? I do not. Hold on. Okay, so one of these is probably going to be the King Vermin. That's why it goes to the King Vermin there. It's like, by the way, did you know? Okay. What was I looking for? I have a thing that makes it so that I think when I have more... There's... I think it was... I thought it was something that like when I, when I have more family members I do better. So I think I'm gonna go with Demeter. As much as I love... As much as I love... Lartemis. As much as she's the absolute best. Oh my god. Zagreus, you little... Yeah, I don't know where the mirror powers are. Oh, I thought the bad guy was dead, but he wasn't dead. But he's dead now. definitely help. Alright, we'll see if we wind up having... Oops! Oh shoot! Not poisoned at the moment, thanks. Oh, look, I don't know, Zagreus. I'm trying to be careful. Oh jeez. Blasted giant father has come back. Oh jeez, okay, hold on. Jeez, I'm poisoned and poisoned and poisoned. Calm down, Lauren. Calm down. Okay. Let, let that thing take care of business. Okay, don't die. Don't die. Oh. Alright. In the name of Hades. It's gonna be all five again, isn't it? Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. 
Oh, man. Take 10% less damage and deal more. Okay, I guess I better use those. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, folks. Oh, shoot, I forgot to get that money. Well, that's okay. Need to keep looking down those passageways. Let's see what we get money-wise. Maybe. Well, I don't know. We'll probably make... Let's see if we can get something... What are we missing? We can make one of my current boons better. Or... I can try to get... I can try to get one of these. Yeah, the game definitely wants me to have more Artemis. No, that's true. Um, that's true. Demeter does have healing. But if that's the case, then I might wait until after I finish. You know? How much money have I got? 540. That's not enough. You know, because I have the boon that brings me back to 90, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. And go from there. Cool. <sighs> All right. Bleh, bleh yourself, dude. Nobody likes you guys. Who is the creeping gr green vines that are attached to my weapons? Like. Jeez, that do extra damage thing is really great. Amazing. Okay. Okay. Cerberus oh. must be starving. Well, at least that was short. <coughs> oh. Sorry. Hello, Coy. Oh my god, there's a lot of money here. Anyway, so my allergies are bad. Let's see how are we doing here. All right. Let us Restore the health. Much better. Excellent. Hear me on my authority. Oh my god. Okay. Every single attack fires a seeking arrow. That's I mean, that's a no-brainer. Sorry, folks, that's a no-brainer. I'll just tuck that away. I love that one. Alright. Let's do it. Oh wait, am I fishing? Am I fishing? Did I just hear fishing? Where's fishing? No, that's that's not fishing. I thought there was fishing. I don't see fishing. Was that not the fishing sound? I guess maybe that wasn't. All right, so who do I want? Yes, I see you there, friend. Well, there's the fishing. Okay, let's fish. Let's fish. Fish. Fish, 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 fish. Fish, 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 fish. Your mind. Yes. Another scuffer. All right. Um, let's see. Do I want Demeter or do I want... <sighs> She's really powerful. His is more expensive than hers. And I wonder why that is. Okay, let's see. What do we got? <sighs> Actually, hold on. I am going to do this quickly. Ah. Oops. Oops. Okay. So this will be like some higher level thing of his. Okay, I've got this one. I think I think I've got this one. Let's see, legendaries. No, I don't really care about those. Um, what about her? I don't know that I have enough of hers to get a legendary. Oh, that's right. He doesn't have any duos. Winter harvest is good. Okay, yeah, no. Um, like she has a bunch of healing things. I guess I could get it. I guess I could get a duo, actually. Not that I'm going to necessarily, but maybe I maybe I will. 
Oh man, that's right, I forgot about that. Okay, so with her I have a chance of getting a duo. Hmm. Hmm. That could be a duo. I'm gonna try this. I'll pay for that. There we go. We're gonna take that one. To me, that's a no-brainer. That's the obvious choice, so I'm gonna take it. What a team. They are indeed, aren't they? All right, puppy. Let's go do it. Loss has the prince again persuaded fearsome Cerberus to get out of I guess I way. might as well. I guess I might as well uh, tweet about it. All right. Give me just one second. I have tweeted about it. All right, random rebel eclipse. Oh, you mean you mean my uh, my 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 title for it on YouTube? I never know how to name these these ones in particular. I have no idea. And there's just there's been so much stuff that's happened this stream. Like just so much stuff. I don't even know. I can go. Caros <laughs> treated to a snack. Good boy. All right, let us go out. Let's do this. <sighs> nice, Chrono. I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> All right. I'm going way late tonight, but that's I'm okay, back, right? Father. <laughs> you now know that even if you are able to surpass me, you shall ultimately perish soon enough. And yet you still persist. Utterly senseless. Once upon a time, perhaps, he uh, was willing to do things that might have seemed senseless because he had emotion and he had love in his heart. I found her father, and I'm going to find mother again, and again and again, until I have some answers finally. She'd like some answers too, beginning with, why did you never tell her that I lived? You let her go and left her to her grief. First thing he does when he gets this chance is to try to ask his dad so that he can give his mother what she wants to know. Silence, because he's a good boy. boy. Save all your ignorant and baseless accusations. You seem incapable of heeding my request that you not blather on about a matter you shall never understand. Then I shall save my breath for this fight. Is it only when we defeat him that we're able to see a little bit of who he was? Is it right before he dies that he begins, that he feels again? We'll see. All right, Dad. Okay, I'm gonna try not to forget my buttons. Oof. Oh, he does so much damage. The good news... Oh my god. Hold on. Oh no! He, he boiling blooded me. Oh no! Okay, I'm observing. Oh no, not not on that one, not on that one. Oh jeez. Oh well. <sighs> Sorry, folks. That was that was a bad idea. Oh jeez. I know. Oh jeez, oh jeez. I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but uh. <sighs> Oof, there we go. I suppose I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna lose these sometimes. Oh 
Oh, jeez. Oh, no! Not again. Oh, no! Not again! I'm gonna die this time. I'm not gonna get it. I'm sorry, folks. I'm not even on my second... Okay, hold on. Now that we had our little warm-up, it is time that we began in earnest. Okay. Okay, Lauren, remember? Remember he has mechanics? Okay, okay. Oof, sorry. Oh, jeez. Again. No, 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 no. Jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there! Ooh! Ho! Oh. Ho! Oh. That was close. Oh. Oh no, 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 no! No, no, no! That's what he keeps saying, that's, that's what they say, that's the thing that they say. of damage. I'm just trying to... Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, geez. oh, geez. oh geez. Get, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Are you? Even now, knowing Mother wants to see me again. <sighs> Hi. Oh, I guess I probably had greater call by then, didn't I? I didn't see it say greater call. So I didn't, I didn't. <sighs> My goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry. If it doesn't say greater call, then I forget that I have call. Oh, no, but I used a greater call. Yeah, no, Meg's earring is really good for me, as it turns out. It would have been great if I'd had that sooner, but I didn't like Meg, so we didn't have that. All right. So gameplay was exciting. <laughs> I'm sorry that I forgot to greater call, but we did it anyway. So I even put all those points into making it better specifically for this and didn't do it. <laughs> oh man, well that was exciting. Thank you folks. <laughs> I feel like this is a really good build and I think I'm also learning a few things about how to play the game. It's okay, Chrono, don't worry about it. It's all right. How's this, if I was close enough to death, I would have probably remembered Greater Call. Because that seems to be how things go. I do shonen hero victories from time to time, just to keep you on your toes. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna switch gears from the gameplay side of things, which is very exciting. And I will, I will deal with the fact that we did that. Like, because this is such a powerful build, Although actually, this wasn't just a powerful build. He played a little differently than he did before, I think because I was hiding less. But I think I used my skills pretty well. Yeah, the, the, maybe it was the shorter dash that did it, Blue Glass. I didn't do that consciously, but perhaps subconsciously. Um. <laughs> Are they hard to do? Because I feel like it came together super well. The thing with Hades is that um, I like couldn't count on hangover the way I did with everything else. So like it was definitely um, grandma was doing work there. Um, the cast, perhaps I should have put more in cast, but it worked out. 
Oh, but see, like, dash strike is easier for me because because I just basically treat it like it's two buttons at the same time, and then I forget that I have a regular attack, and I forget that I have a regular dash, and, and my brain slots in dash strike in place of that, which is why you'll notice that, like, when I'm in combat, that's literally all I do. I don't use, I forget that I have a special. I occasionally, like, just throw out my blobs. I, like, empty my blobs, because I know that blobs are there, and then it's just dash strike, literally nothing but dash strike. That's all my brain can do, but it works. All right, shall we get some emotions? Because I'm like, at this point, I feel like I'm like, I did the thing, I did the hard thing. And also I kind of knew that I was going to and then I was dying on this fight. I was like, it would be really awful to have such an incredibly powerful build and think I'm gonna do it and come to Hades with all of my lives and everything and then lose. But fortunately that didn't happen. Yeah, no, Jando, that is, that is definitely true in this particular fight. I, uh, I relied on the crystals because they were a lot safer. Um, <sighs> but I, I did I did a lot of strategizing, so like, this has been a really eventful stream, folks. Like, we fought um, we fought and won against Karen first try. That was exciting. We asked Achilles about his one true love, so that was exciting. And now we're gonna go meet Mom again. Thank you, Mr. Spaghetti Zone. I'll try to give myself some credit. I've worked, I think I've, I think I've worked to get better at video games by playing video games and trying to overcome my internal sense that I can't do it by breaking it down. Like you've heard me sometimes giving myself a pep talk, sometimes yelling at myself, but like, you know, calm down. Where is the thing? Look for the thing. That's okay, Chrono. I'm going to go ahead then and dive in to the story. So you're not going to cooperate with me on this, knowing Mother wants to see me again. I really, really, really want to know, really want to know, is Hades going to show us a little bit of his actual true self? Like, is he going to get a little bit of himself back for just the few seconds before he dies? This is victory number two, Discipline Daddy. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. I just got to not get cocky. You shall ruin everything with all your damnable questions. Hades is doing something and he can't answer my questions. And if 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 my question if, if he answers my questions, everything falls apart. Then die already and get the hell out of my way. If Hades, on the other hand, hasn't given up his heart to save Zagreus or some equivalent, and has just chosen to cut himself off, then this will hurt him so badly to be like I can't tell you anything I can't do I can't do any of this or you will suffer everyone will suffer everything will fall apart all of this for you because I love you so much and then have Zagreus be like die already and get the hell out of my way would just would just like twist that knife in your heart if you're Hades and he has a heart I don't know if he does at this point or not so it's interesting because I, uh, you may have noticed I have slightly more sympathy for Hades than I've ever had before because I'm like, what if there's something else going behind the scenes there? All right. Again, I, you. Goodbye, father. <sighs> Done with time to spare. All right, folks, we're going to go meet mom, but let's see. What, what, do we, what do we put on here? What do we put? Which things do we put? Aspect of Achilles. Not quick spin. Uh, what is the... Quick spin we want to replace with... Uh... Yeah, this one was really fast. Splitting headache, you think? Artemis' aid always, but I feel like you can kind of just assume that I have Artemis' aid at any point. Plus, she didn't get the final kill this time. Okay, drunken strike. That, that was a big one. Okay, splitting headache, serrated point. And then what's this last one going to be? 
We did get the turret duo. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I want to, I want to, this, this got me through sticks. This is the reason why I got through sticks. This is why having five sticks encounters wasn't bad, actually. Like, this alone saved the day. Because then it didn't matter how much I got beat up, I would get to the same point afterwards. So it was great. After party was fantastic. But I want this to be something so that when I'm like, looking back, I'm like, which run was this? I'd be like, oh, this is the hangover dash strike run. Uh... What else is there? I heard him say level four. I should have let that go. That would have, things would have ended a lot faster. <laughs> like boiling point, like all that stuff would have been good if I'd actually like used that. Rush delivery is good. Which, which, which one, which one should we, which one should we go with? What else should I give credit to? Crystal beam, hunter dash, hunter dash. Maybe hunter dash, hunter dash. All right. This is the one. Okay. And then we're going to print screen. Okay. There we go. Current streak, new record. <laughs> Best streak one. Total clears two. Yes. Wow. Yeah, this was substantially faster. Wow. Incredible. Excellent. Oh, do you think that I should have put crystal clarity? Which one should I put crystal clarity in for? Like, I feel like this is pretty good. Like, possibly splitting headache is the one to get rid of. Aspect of Achilles. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So then we wanted to do crystal clarity. Hold on. And I know that I can just, like, do a screenshot. There we go. Now you can see the coolness of me having two duos. How's that? All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Onward. <laughs> I got four health back to bring me to the uh, to the minimum. Will you brood? No, you won't brood. Okay. It's because Artemis is number one. Everybody likes Artemis. Well, they should. Found you. Whew. Yes, blues. That does seem to be the case so far. So I'm just checking to make sure there's nothing hidden over here. What is it in my dash that's that green thing? Let's go to Greece, shall we? Let's move on. Hunter dash. Okay, that makes sense. It's foresty. So he starts off and he's running. Oh, look, I can go fishing. Yeah. I've, I've got to get this, folks. Think I've got one. An actual fish? He's so confused about it. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Amazing. He's like, is this a try? He's like really excited about it. Oh my god, Zagreus, honey, I love you. Uh, I'm cold. Yeah, he's starting to feel worse again. God, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And like coming here again and again and dying again and again is going to be so hard for him and for her. But they're still going to do it every time. Oh, 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 oh. All manner of fruits and vegetables thrive within the hidden gardens of Persephone, the one time queen of all the underworld. The world of life, far from the realm of death. That's the thing, Zagreus is, is the, the offspring of life and death in a way. And I think that's part of what happened. Things. He just has flowers that he gives to Nyx because she raised him to be a good boy. That you? I'm here, mother. I probably wish that I had friendship juice to give her, but that's okay. I'll bring that next time. <coughs> Sorry, folks, but I'm going to take a look around really quickly. God, the music is so beautiful. I guess probably there's fishing back here sometimes too. Look at her scarecrows. They're cute, they've got little hats. All right, mom, let's do this. I begged the fates that you'd return to me. Perhaps I ought to be more careful how I speak of them. 
Perhaps Tell me, so. how was your journey? What happened? Sorry, I got excited. I really wanted to talk to her. I will look around her house more next time, I suppose. God, there's just so much abundance here. Father didn't make it any easier for me. Nor would he tell me why he never sent for you after you left. So, I don't know what's going on still, but I wanted to see you again. I hope she's so proud of him. Like, he's just, he's, he's such an incredible person, you know? He's turned I out so to well. See you too. Come, speak quickly with me, that our time together here may be as full as possible, all right? I love her. She's like, we're just gonna have to talk really fast to get as much out of this as we can. <sighs> She's really cool. I just, I need to know what happened between you and father. Why are you here and not with us? I couldn't live with myself anymore down there. After I left Olympus, a long story in itself, I, I came it. to be with your father in the underworld. How? It was a shock, to say the least. The others in your father's house were welcoming enough, but I never felt that I belonged. Yeah, was the thing that he was saying when he says, because, like, like, the belonged, that's literally what was said at the start of this run, if I remember correctly. And then Zagreus responds to that. But was Hades talking to Zagreus? Was Hades talking to Persephone? What was going on there? I don't know exactly what those are. But I want to know what the what. How did you leave Olympus? Why did you leave Olympus? How how did you come to be with Hades? Like I really want to know because I feel like it's not the story that we're used to, and I'm really curious about it. Like, did she run away from home? And Hades said, "I'll keep you safe." I know the feeling. I think, <laughs> but you stayed long enough to have me. Those whom I've spoken to about you, it's as you said, they have fond memories of you. And then you even had a child. Did father, did he mistreat you? No, no. Your father could be very difficult, though he was gentle with me. Soon enough, we got on fine, better than fine at times, but when I was with child, I, I struggled terribly. Because a child born of surface dwellers could not live down there. Could not live down there according to whom exactly? The fates? According to them, yes. According to your father and to Nyx. Even having heard, I took my chances anyway. But when you emerged stillborn, it was too much. I fled. I fled and came to reside here. Above the notice of the underworld. Beneath the notice of Olympus. <sighs> yeah, that makes sense. And I like that Hades and Nyx both tried to warn her. But Persephone... Doesn't give up. She has an extraordinary amount of determination and conviction that she can make things work. So I'm not at all surprised that she was like, no, no, it's going to be different. It's going to be all right. Like, this is going to work out. I, I, you know, you'll see, you'll see, it'll be okay. And then it wasn't. And then Hades did something to make it okay. God, all these years. But that does explain, like, so he was gentle with her. And sometimes they, they loved each other. It's so sad. Stubbornly defiant, in, indeed. Selenius, yes. And, and her hair is just, like, they made a, they did a good job making, making Zagreus and Persephone. Like, Zagreus does look very much like both of his parents. Why would father lie to you if he never wanted you or never wanted me? Surely he had the means. Poor Zagreus. It hurts to see him in pain like that. Like, I don't know. Art is so expressive. I'm wondering the same. But, oh, look at you, Zagreus. We're running out of time. It's happening again. Stay with me, please. 
Yes, stubborn defiance and death defiance, indeed. The, the two of them in one person. She's so sweet and loving and strong. Like, she's a very strong person. I love the way that the characters, like, I know that it really threw me the first while when we, when we first encountered Eurydice and Medusa, and I was really not sure that I was comfortable with what they were doing to change these characters, but that's the point. And Persephone herself, too, is a strong woman. And there's something really beautiful about that being the story, like the, the, the characters in this being, you know, we, we were young and, 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 and without power. And now we have grown and we have changed and we've come into our own. And I'm glad that that's their story. And I'm glad that's her story. And I love her as a mother figure. With her poor son. I'm trying, but I can't stay that much longer. I don't think. That's true, we have no confirmation that Dusa is Medusa, but still. <sighs> Poor Zagreus, he's trying to use the stubbornness that he inherited, frankly, from both parents. I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, my dear son. Then please, ask Hades what you asked of me. Why he would lie. Tell him I must know, the same as you. And you farewell. Until we meet again. Until we... <sighs> the voice acting is so beautifully delivered. You. He's so angry at his father. But I think his father might have actually put things into place for there to be something good. Yeah, that was perfectly timed with the music. I don't know if the music is actually like designed for that to happen, but no, having, having more depth to Hades, why he is the way he is and what he does. <laughs> Good night, Chrono. Thanks for hanging out. Um, we'll see you soon. Um, and the post amble will be, I think, a little shorter than usual this time because it is quite late. I appreciate you all sticking with me four and a half hours. My goodness. Um, I, well, first of all, can I get a couple of gold stars? Can I get a couple of gold stars for figuring some of that stuff out? <laughs> can I get credit for some of that? <laughs> I'm happy. So now I'm curious how much more. I thought it would take longer for us to get more of these answers, but I suppose it, it could take a very long time for you to get back up there so they don't want to dole it out too slowly so they're at least giving you enough to start with um yeah obviously i'm a fan of what they're doing because uh because i was able to figure out the pieces of it like it's it, it's storytelling in a way that i obviously that obviously resonates with me that hits right so obviously i like it um but it means they've laid the groundwork very well and they've made their characters consistent and they've given very good hints enough that the pieces are all there to figure out some of this stuff out um so it feels really satisfying even if you weren't like me like being like why is it like this why is it like this and then piecing it together and piecing it together if you walk into that without having guessed what's going on and you're given that, it's going to feel consistent. It's not going to feel like they threw in a shocking aha because all of the pieces are already there. They've done an incredibly good job of giving you everything you need, um, which indicates to me that they knew where they were going or else if they're like me and they make up the story along the way, and like obviously just a written draft, not like the game game, that he went back in and folded in all of his pieces, or he had a plan from the beginning. But either way, um, this is not a game that was written around a few cool ideas that we're going to throw together. This was not a game that is written by somebody who's like, and then this happens, and then this happens, and then this happens. This is very much like all of the pieces weave together. It's really, really, really well written. Um, and the characterization is excellent. So I was experiencing an additional layer of irony there where I was like, I'm pretty sure that actually Hades is a more complicated character than I think or than I thought and certainly than Zagreus thinks. So that moment where Zagreus is like, go to hell, dad, was this deliciously ironic moment because I was like, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that Hades 
made some sort of a, a great and terrible sacrifice for Zagreus and then doesn't make the way that he treats Zagreus right at all. So that's why I'm like, maybe he lost his heart and that's why he's able to do it. But like, um, even if he is just like that because he's just like that rather than because something has changed him. I mean, regardless, w the way he treats Zagreus isn't right, but also if he is a complex character, a complex person with complex emotions, then he will feel a lot of pain from Zagreus lashing out there. Um, and we, if we begin to pick up on some of these things, can kind of see how that's going to hurt him. Whereas the last time around, it's kind of like, take that, dad. And I'm still like, take that, dad. Whenever he says something awful, I want to like, you know, sneer at him back. Um, but in that moment, in that moment, instead of being Zagreus, I was outside of Zagreus because I had guessed at knowledge that Zagreus doesn't have. Um, and, uh, and that was really excellent. Like, like, regardless of where you are positioned at that moment, it is a really, really effective moment. It's so good. The writing is really good. The dialogue continues to be outstanding. Zagreus's delivery there when he's like, I'm trying and just the pain in his voice as he can't hold on any longer. Um, and how, how, I don't know how full of life everything about Persephone is, her voice, her face, the things she says, she's overflowing, just like abundance personified. And Zagreus is so good and kind and loving and full of life himself, just like her. Um, but he's also got this like snarky kind of bitter biting side. And I think that that's more of Hades. Like, that doesn't seem quite like Persephone's style. And in, in his case, then it's tempered with kindness. Um, but when he gets hurt and he lashes out, that's when he's more like his father, which is frequently what happens when you're raised by an abusive parent, which for the entirety of Zagreus's life, his father has been the way he is now. Zagreus has not like been like, my father was different when I was a boy, um, which is a thing that happens a lot of times with stories when something has happened to change. So I think... I think that something happened, and I, I suspect that Hades has given up his heart, or something equivalent, and he's trying to keep the secret so that it doesn't all get undone and Zagreus dies for good. But we're going to break fate. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a story of breaking fate, and it's very satisfying. I was so concerned about what it was going to be like with the looping, but these are good writers. Like, like, like the story is so... yes. Like because Zag so 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 we have a little bit of a nature versus nurture moment here with Zagreus because I'm saying he's got this after his mother and he's got this after his father which would be nature because his mother didn't raise him at all and I think people tend to be a combination of what they're predisposed to being and then what the environment around them shapes them to be um, I think my brain is proof of that um, but uh, so I feel like he has like this predisposition perhaps of like his mother's temperament just like like, you know, genetically, whatever. I don't know they're gods. I don't know how genes work when you're gods. Um, but Achilles and Nyx are kind and loving and good enough to fill in as much as possible so that he doesn't turn out to be Hades again. Um, you know, he's a, he's very much his own person and he's got a lot of goodness and kindness. And it's, I, I really wonder Hades looking at him and being like, you look like my son, but you act like your mother and I don't have your mother. Your mother left me. Um, and I don't know. Just, uh, there's a lot of complexity there. And I, I hope you don't mind. And for all that I have been criticizing Hades as an abusive father for this entirety, for the entirety of this game so far. Um, if all of this stuff is going, I mean, for one thing, like abusers are much more interesting if they're actually like real people instead of just, I am a bad, evil, bad guy who bad, 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 all the bad. Like, no, people aren't like that. Like, you know, I have history with abusive people in my life and they were all, they all genuinely believed they loved me. They genuinely did not think, oh, I'm going to hurt this person because it's fun to hurt people. They were just damaged in such a way that made them damage other people. Um, and so having a complex and fully formed rounded character makes somebody more interesting and more believable even if it doesn't in any way excuse their actions so from now on because i think i have a good inkling of what's going on with hades um and what might be like what some of the comp complexity of his scenario is i'm still gonna i'm still gonna trash talk dad i'm sorry zagreus and i have that in common um 
but uh but I think I'm gonna try to like pick up on like what might be going on under the surface because I think there's layers there which is very good and interesting good writing interesting for me um but if you just want him to be a big bad, like, he sure does fill the shoes of big bad. He's really awful to Zagreus. Um, but I'm really, 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 really interested to see exactly what's going to happen. And the fates, you, you notice the fates did come up there. I mean, obviously, like, you know, it's, it's ancient Greece. The fates are part of mythology, really big deal. No, but I think that specifically, like, there's a reason why it's like, um, he said fated something earlier this run. Um, like, like this, the fated choices, the book of the fates, all these things about the fates, the fates, the fates, the fates, the fates, the fates, the fates. We've defied death. We are stubbornly defiant. We're going to defy fate. We are going to defy fate. The thing that I was like, oh, we're going to defy fate in Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is not at all the direction that they went with that story, but I still hold my idea would have been good. But, but... With this game, I think that this is going to be a very satisfying defiance of fate. I don't think it's going to be done cheaply. I don't think it's going to be too easy, but I also don't think they're going to be like, oh, there's no sense in defying fate. You try to defy fate, and it turns out that that just makes you be in fate instead. Um, I think we're going to actually do it. Um, but in a way that feels true and authentic to the characters, too. It's very exciting. Like, the characters are so good. The writing is so good. The game is so good. The gameplay is fantastic. I've apparently gotten better at video games. It turns out that even if you're really bad at buttons, if you have an analytical mind that is the same mind you use to analyze story, you can sort of kind of analyze gameplay a little bit to understand what's happening around you a little bit better, enough to sort of compensate for poor reflexes and terrible muscle memory, or at least really unreliable and easily overwhelmed muscle memory. Because I have those things and they're very difficult and you can see it in my play style. Sometimes the only reason I don't die is because I'm really good at dashing away and everything else has gone out the window. But if you are good at running away, you buy yourself time to get your analytical brain going a bit and be like, okay, he's doing this. Because that's how I managed to defeat Hades both times, has been by taking inventory of what's happening, uh, situational awareness or, or so on, and being like, he's doing this, I have to do this. And I don't know if I've been articulating that at all, because at that point I'm like in the game, so I don't know if you have any idea what's going through my head. Maybe I talked through it, maybe I didn't, maybe I was just yelling at dad, I honestly don't know. Um, but uh, but it's it's thinking through it. And part of that is having gained baseline skills by myself that time. And the baseline skill is <clears throat> not getting hit. That's all. That's all I've got that I'm good at is not getting hit. But it turns out that if you're just good at one thing and you just learn to apply that well, it's good. So yeah, it's, it's fun and interesting to be like, okay, I, I guess you could say I'm a fairly analytical player of games, which I guess I've kind of always in some ways been when I'm not panicking. Because in Dark Souls, it was when I was able to like kind of calm down and be like, what do I do here? How do I do that? I had to think through it. I don't have good instincts, I don't think, but I can piece things together. I don't know. I don't know. I think we all have different strengths and weaknesses, and so we can be good or bad at things in different ways because of our strengths and weaknesses. But I'm really satisfied with how that game went. How that, com that battle was really exciting, even if I didn't summon Artemis, but then it would have been over too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I would not be satisfied. <sighs> I love The Princess Bride, favorite movie, or one of them. <clears throat> so it is now like 1.30 and my cat is yelling at me. So I should probably go because we are an hour and a half past. But I think it was worth it. We have a lot to chew through. We will not be streaming next week because it is American Thanksgiving and I will be in the U.S. with my family. Um. But, uh... It's, it's, it's 1130 my time. So we're an hour and a half past when we usually go. Um, because we will not be streaming next, uh, we will not be, we will not be streaming next Thursday. Um, I think we might be streaming next Tuesday. We will be streaming this Saturday where we beat Deltarune finally. And I will, if you like, if you like analysis, please join. If you like analysis and you are still here while I am analyzing, please follow me on Twitch. Please subscribe to me on YouTube. You don't have to do any monies with that subscribing. And you will see the anal the analysis of things that lets me predict what's going on in games, but in a good way instead of hopefully an obnoxious way. Um, yeah. So, like, um, when we finish Deltarune, I'm going to do Psychonauts, I think. 
I'm going to kind of play it by ear. December and January will be interesting. So I will keep you all posted. Um, with my, I'm going to be doing some international travel for the holidays because I live in a different country than the rest of my family. But I'll keep you all posted about things. Please, again, follow me on here. Subscribe to me on YouTube if you're there. Read my fanfic. <laughs> I might write some Hades fanfic um, eventually. We'll see. Um, Anna. Um, 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 what else is there? Oh, I've got a concert coming up December 4th. I'll share information. It's going to be a holiday show, family friendly, so I will not bust out the swears. This is the only stream I bust out the swears on, but I won't even be doing that. Um, yeah. So thank you all so much. Take care of yourselves. Please join our Discord if you would like to uh, to chat with folks about the spoilers. There is a way to do that. Um, and uh, you can follow me on social media if you want to know what's going on. All right. I'm going to go to bed now. Oh, wow. I'm like barely even in frame. That's okay. All right. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you being here. Take care of yourselves. And uh, I will see you in two weeks. Two weeks. Or Saturday. Whichever comes sooner. <laughs> Good night.